Yo. Yes, sir. Let's get it's it. about to be a weird ass podcast because I was like totally late. Welcome. Usually to I, I don't be ready, bro, for this shit, but then I be ready as fuck. And I got to go to the bathroom, so you got to kind of like. <laughs> now nah, I'm just like, uh. I'll go to the ice and watch this room and shit. called P13K, I got some shit, yeah, I'm back on my, uh, I'm back on my Pierre shit for real, cause it's like, not really anybody, like, Pierre ain't on shit, so I gotta, like, do it for him type shit, so, Welcome you feel me, to shout this out to Pierre, bro. I'm, I'm coming out with, I'm gonna tell him this shit when he get back, this, this, recording like this is better because it's just like, yo, I don't got to worry about if the mic picking me up. I could just really just see this shit is picking me up. I'm saying anything. All right, fuck it. I'm like his uh What's this episode about to be about? What's what's the, what we starting with today? I uh, I was about to ask you about um your streaming shit. You say you a streamer now? I'm be, uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it, but I I just suck at games, so I never thought that I should. But that shit lit but, though. I'm like, like But that's what I'm saying. It's like imagine me even if I get better. Like if I do get better, like imagine that. Like yeah. it's all out there from when I was trash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking nah, fired. You told me you was playing San Andreas. I was like, damn, he ain't never. I don't even think he played San Andreas when it was out for real. So it's just like he get to finally like. Just no, I did, I did, but I didn't. I played it late, like so. I had, yeah. I had a PS2 and shit, but it was always like I played it over people's house or over my dad's house or over my brother's house. It was never like. Like, I had an Xbox when the Xbox first came out, and the only game, like, the first, when they used to come out with the Spider-Man game, uh-huh. so I had the Spider-Man game and shit, so I had shit like that, like, the weirdest shit, like, or the oldest shit, like, it's old by the time I get the shit, like, yeah. 2012 is when I finally was able to own that PlayStation that I played. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, because okay, like my, cause my dad shit. died. Because my yeah, dad man. died, my mom let me play GTA. Crazy. That's crazy. I feel like for Nestor, I was like, look, it reminded me of my father. It's like all I got left, so. <laughs> like shit. She let me play that shit. And I was like, dog. I'm in here playing the PlayStation 2, playing Scarface and shit. And it's like, y'all face. niggas is on to some whole other shit on the internet. Y'all playing. Y'all playing futuristic games. In 20, 2012, I was playing Call of Duty online and shit, doing trick shots That's and shit. That's what I'm saying. I was recording. That's why I said about uh, about the Elgato shit. I used to do that. I used to record like myself playing a game with my friends and shit, and used to make episodes. Oh, this is this is what episodes. I'm. This is, and I'm with that. Uh, but this is this is the vision I had. Like, just having mad niggas. Like, like I said, once I get the building and the location for the build, for the company, it's gonna be uh-huh. even better because I can set up a gaming station. And I can yeah. have mad niggas in there gaming, like, live. Like, mad games going on. We uh-huh. just gonna be live, 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 live all day. Like, 20, that's I can how have this shit going 24-7. Like. And I, I really pay niggas to stream that shit, bro. And then niggas, uh-huh. like, going, that got a name already gonna want to come fuck with us because we got the audience already built in, but, like, through just and you can, like, having, you can like, sign mad niggas. dudes. But that's because, basically what I'm saying. It's like, we'll yeah. have, but there'll still be an independent contract. Everybody with care creators is going to be an independent contractor or a partner. We ain't, uh-huh. I'm not trying to ever like sign somebody and like own their shit. The whole point that's, of this is to do it different than. That's how they doing you know now. I mean? so, you ever heard of FaZe Clan? Yeah. Huh? You ever heard of FaZe Clan? Like FaZe? Hell no, nigga. I ain't heard of nothing. <laughs> so it's a, it's a clan. Shit. It's a. It's a gaming clan called FaZe Clan and like in like 2011, 2012 and shit like that was like that was the most popular clan like for like Call of Duty and like everybody even me and my niggas was trying to join them and all like they was too so popular and they like used to get endless Oh so it was like a group a clan and shit right? Yeah and See, they but that's, make videos. That's, that's what I'm saying that's what I, that's but look though like even the logo for this for my PlayStation uh, profile you know drink uh-huh. is the podcast logo so the whole point yeah. is to like get the whole shit connected for real, like not connected, but like everything is via everything. 
You can get yeah. there via this. You can. So it's like they kill me. It's Rondo the kid though. Still the artist. Like I get followers, and then I go to their page, and it be all call it uh, all GTA stuff, or it be all Call of Duty stuff, and I be like, okay, I see. I see what's going on. Like some niggas do look it up every now and then. And what I used to do was play my music and rap my music while I'm on GTA. And niggas used to be like, yo, shut the fuck up. I'm <laughs> and I just bro. keep That's rapping my shit. <laughs> I used to just keep rapping my shit. Niggas be like, bro, you garbage, bro. Shut the fuck up. That's how they be like, all right. <laughs> and I just keep rapping through them niggas, right? And then it'll be like, I remember one time this white boy, he got on there. He was like, Man, fuck what them niggas talking about, bro. They haters, bro. Fucking rap your shit, nigga. Play your shit, nigga. If they don't like it, they they can lead the session, they bro. Can, they can mute and I was you, like, well, like, that shit real thing. live made me feel like I was like, yo, I'm never going to not play my music. Like this right. shit real live. They could just if they ain't but fuck I just, with it, they gonna mute you. I just got sick of hearing them niggas. They were so uh-huh. toxic on the game, bro. Everybody I had to mute to- that shit. Everybody was talk is toxic on the game, bro. All right, bro. That's I I be finding shit. myself saying some fucked up shit too, like. And I know nobody can hear me, so it's cool. But it's like, damn, the kids be hearing me talk crazy at the at the TV. Try to act like they racist on the game and all that. Like they, that's the same. Yeah, they be trolling you with the racist you shit. I heard that's, but that's what. Look, I turned that shit on today, and I turned that shit on because it was the white boy. He was like, he said, "Nigga, nigga, nigga." He just kept saying it, right? Uh-huh. And he was like, "What you mad, nigga?" Da, 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 da. And he was talking <laughs> to a Spanish dude. A Spanish dude was like, "I'm not even mad. That shit don't offend me at all because I'm not even black." But you would never say that shit in real life. And they just kept going not back and forth. He was like, he said, eat your Cheetos, nigga. Eat your Cheetos. Oh, nah. <laughs> not eat your Cheetos. I said, yo, they wilding on the internet. I said, like, the That's baby was sitting eat. right here. So I was like, yo, I'm going to just turn this shit off, bro. I don't even want like that shit. shit really and you can hear that shit on the TV because you don't got no, like, you don't got headphones and shit. Yeah, it ain't no. Well, I can. I do got headphones. Yeah. I just, like I said, I just turned it on real quick because I was trying to see if I could stream that shit and if it would mm-hmm. be good for the streaming. Of course. No, I'm not doing Said that no. shit. Nope. I don't even oh, want to ingest that shit. shit. I've been good Cause, on mute. Because Kendo, he's, that's what he do. He stream. Like, he be um he be uh playing the PC. He got a whole computer set up in a PC, and he be, like, going live and shit and sending it to me. He be, like, private. He fired? Driving. Yeah, he good as shit, bro. Uh, he yeah, got the game? whole setup. He got a game called Valorant. Like, he play Valorant, and it's, like, it's a PC game. That shit tough. It's, like, so, you know, yeah. You know, search and destroy on Black Ops Four. It's like you get mm-hmm. one life. You, you on a team, you get one life, and like if you die, then like you can't respawn until the next round type shit. It's like that. Uh huh. Yeah, he be playing that shit, and he be playing other types of games too. I be trying to get him to play scary games, bro, cause that that's my favorite shit right now, bro. I love scary games, bro. Uh huh. Shit. I mean, I be watching like niggas play games. that shit. Uh huh. What's about? What is it about fairy games as far? No scary games like horror games. Oh, you said scary games. Yeah. Oh, you used to fuck with Resident Evil. Yeah, I used to fuck with that shit. Facts. I used to be scared that of shit, shit used though. To actually, when I real, real live, be scary though, bro. Like that Not shit used to real. really like you play that shit too late at night. But that's the best time to play this shit though. I mean, yeah, you want to get the feeling. That's back when niggas used to borrow, get, go to school and borrow trade games and shit. See, but I don't like streaming for real. The only reason I like doing it right now is because it's like, it's just, it's just, it's genius. It's a genius thing to enter into the game world as a production (laughs) company, just to have the option for people that are not like me. I don't play games. I'm not a gamer, but I'm with the gamer life. Like, if that's what you do, I love watching you do that. And I'll get into it as much as I can. You know Uh what I mean? It's like, I figure since I have time, I might as well do it. But then at the same time, like I said, I want to be able to have that set up one day. Yeah, I want to have it like you know what I mean. Niggas waiting to get on the sticks, like niggas uh-huh. coming there to have tournaments. We could record the shit. We can upload the That's shit. And it's shit. Just I'm trying good. to have a. It's it's good to have multiple things for people to watch. If if this is a co- media company on right. that YouTube exactly. channel, it's just got to be more than just a podcast, more than just a song, more than just a a, a exactly. film, a short move, a short a show, whatever. It got to be like I'm trying to do everything. On there, if, if if I don't do it, I want to inspire and hire and like give opportunities to the people who who do that shit. Not for real. And it's gonna be niggas who willing to start off like with nothing, like with me, like with, they gonna be willing to be around when it's only thirty people really watching all the time. And at the yeah. same time, that's the whole point is to like 
It's really for eyes. It's not really like I'm trying to stunt or I'm like good or something. That's the thing too. I was like thinking about it. I was like, why would somebody watch this stream? Like people was watching, but I'm like, why would somebody watch this stream? I'm like, I'm not even that far. It's not like they fucking seeing the best the shit ever. Though. But at Niggas. the same time, I was like, I'm like, bro, just watching it. Like imagine, like I, I was thinking about me, like when I ain't had no system. I would love to sit here and watch a nigga play. No. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It don't matter I'm if he was good I or bad. Like, I, don't I don't know what no good system. or bad is. You said what? I said I don't. That, I'm. That's me right now. Like, I don't got no system, but I, I sit here and watch niggas play the game all day because I want to play the game and shit. Even if I had a game, yeah, I still watch that shit. Like black. You Everybody playing, car you. got these front bullets, bro. This shit blow me, bro. I hate GTA, oh, man. Right. There's too much shit going on. Nah, they got too much upgraded shit. Like I can't even fucking do shit, bro. Cause niggas just got. Mad guns. But, like, you was playing Black Ops 4 earlier. They not even let like, me pick no weapon, bro. You said what? Nah. I said you was playing Black Ops 4 earlier, and I was thinking, like, it's niggas that really still won't watch niggas play Black Ops 4. Because ain't nobody streaming yeah. Black Ops 4. They were streaming the new Call of, Call of Duty. But that's what I was thinking, too, bro. I'm about to stream everything I play. I'm not. Facts. And whoever else playing... If they want to play a different game, I'll buy the game for that nigga to play. That's exactly what niggas be doing, though. So you on point. Hey, you can stream like, San Andreas. I stream, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to have every game kind of going. Um, I'm going to find a nigga who want to play San Andreas all day. Exactly. <laughs> play that shit, my nigga. Fuck with me. I'll pay uh-huh. you, bro. Like, niggas will do that shit. Like shit. That's easy money to just play the game. Come on. Niggas yeah, be waiting for nigga. a job they could do it in the house. Exactly. To be able to bro. tell the parents, no, I, I'm making money. Like, get out of here. And then it's like a company, so it's like, the longer you stick with us, the more, like, you know what I mean. You build a relationship, and it's like, hey, you can be built into this system. You could be a part of this yeah. system. You could be a, you know what I mean. Well, my mom, you could run the whole wing. You could run the whole game and stream and wing, nigga. Fuck it. Like, make that uh-huh. shit go. I'm with it. <laughs> I'll back well, one nigga like to run the whole shit. And if you a gamer, like you, you a gamer too, nigga. I gotta watch out. Mm-hmm. I played the game so much, bro. My mom used to break my controller, bro. She used to be mad as shit that I used to play the game as much mm-hmm. as I did. She used to break my controller. I had to keep buying a new one. And she used to hide my controller and all that. Now niggas getting paid off this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. But that's how this shit be, bro. That's how it was with the rap shit, too. It's like, my mom, you know, my mom told me she'll never support anything I do if it's got cursing in it. Yeah, you told me that. She'll never support anything I do if I ever say one negative thing, like, and one thing. She not like uh-huh. it's not like she gonna keep watching to see if I say something. She's just gonna never tune in. Uh huh. And I was like, yo, I can't imagine once this shit getting money, she ain't gonna want that. Dude, that's how I go. Cause like I told my grandma, but that's I, the I'm funny gonna... shit. It's like I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. This dirty money. You don't want this. Like I said, <laughs> nah, for real. This is GTA money. You don't want this money. Like shit. <laughs> I killed people on a video game to get this money. Remember that sentence? Uh huh. But now she, she can't. She gonna have something to say if I if I keep upgrading my lifestyle and don't pay her nothing. Uh huh. Exactly. I thought I was saving your soul, man. But that's the thing. That, my grandma. I told. I just told my grandma that I don't, I've been making money off my music and shit, and like I got some money like saved up from it. You gonna be st- you gonna be streaming though, right? Yeah. All right, when go I, ahead, go ahead. Yeah, when I get my when I move Finish and I get story. my when I get my yeah. money stocked up and shit, you already know. But okay. yeah, so I just told her that yeah, I'm I've been making money off my music and shit. And she's like, Yeah, you gotta send me your music so I can send it to the family and stuff. I'm like, bro, you know so in my head I'm like, she don't know, like I'll be talking that I'll be saying some nasty ass shit in my you do not want to hear my music, grandma. Like, no. But even if you do wanna hear it, I'm trying to tell you that it's going to be way easier to listen to when it's 30,000 people already listen. Yeah. They're exactly. going to play it as if you're somebody else. They're not going to play it as if it's you. Like, when they, uh-huh. right now, they're going to play it as if it's you. And they're going to be like, yo, my God, yeah. Brandon, did you say this? And then exactly. if it's like 30,000 views already, it's like, oh, my God, what did he just say to, to get all this view? Like, he, oh my, it's like, okay. It's like the same idea of like a nigga saying bitch suck that dick in a song and like that's she'll how sing along is too. that's how it, like, yeah she'll see. sing along to that but if you say that to her like bitch suck this dick like she's gonna have a problem with you yeah yeah so it's like 
the same girl though. Like the same girl who will dance and twerk to that lyric is like the same girl who gonna mace you if you ask her that on the street. You know what I mean? So that's how the world go. We both said that. You said that at the beginning. You was like, that's how it go. This episode seventy four. It's seventy four. I told you we recorded seventy four today, bro. You said what? Oh, all right. This nigga, bro. We're going to have to pause every 15 minutes. What I tell this nigga, man? What the fuck I tell this nigga, man? What I tell this man? This shit is stupid, bro. This is a hook your shit up, you know what I mean? Yeah, just make sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I don't wanna be, uh. I knew that shit wasn't going to do that shit. <laughs> I knew what it was. I just wanted to see real quick what was going down. Oh, yeah, we back. We back. All right. Um, nah, bro. I, so I just got to send you Yeah, bro, that's going to be the hardest <laughs> shit about playing video games now. Like, that I realized that I don't have no fucking friends either. All the friends I got is online. And this nigga, nah, like I don't shit. really know these niggas. And these niggas be shiesty sometimes. Like games, shit. They ain't got to be nice to me. They know my mans. Like, I want to have, like, a real friend on junk. Like, that I can play with on the, on the shit. You know what I mean? That'll be fire. Yeah, I feel you. And I swear to God, like playing a game with you, bro, that shit gonna be so lit, bro. We could pod and game. No, that shit gonna be lit. Time. <laughs> we'll have a microphone in it, and on GTA, like the nigga mouse, the character mouse still move to the shit. Like my nigga got a fade on that joint. Everything yeah. is like exactly how it is, bro. Like dress, I dress like I ain't gonna lie. I wear way more suits on the game than I do in real life because that's really what I want to wear. Like <laughs> I really want to just wear it. Yeah. Clean ass shit Like the whole goal Is to like Still be an ill ass nigga But be clean as fuck Like the whole time Like I'm with that shit So it's like Imagine like Us on the game bro And we podding bro And you see our mouth moving Like niggas gonna be In the, yeah. in the session Like yo Shut the fuck up nigga We podding Niggas gonna be saying Fuck the Rondo show podcast <laughs> While we podding Niggas is gonna be Nah they gonna be on some bullshit like, That shit be so lit bro Like that shit I be yeah, thinking about. I'm be like, yo, and then we, bro, you, we gonna get so much bread off that shit, bro, because it's gonna be such a fucking lit situation, bro. It's gonna be so lit, yeah. bro. Like we gonna have the fucking drinks going. The, bro, it's gonna be, bro. I ain't even gonna. I ain't even no, gonna explain facts. it all. I, I'm already hip. I'm just trying to stack my bread up so I can move to a better place. That's the whole goal. Facts. That's the whole goal that we push. It's looking with. promising. Yeah, destroy this nigga, man. I'm sick of this session, honestly. I'm about to leave this session because these niggas on here is mean as fuck. I was listening to Speed Dial earlier. That's my shit, bro. Yep. Yep. That nigga said, uh, he said, um, I can't stop listening what to What he say? He said, uh, uh huh. Before, I, I'm hip. He said, now nah, you gotta listen. Damn, what did he say before? Now you gotta listen all the time when you don't want it. No, he was now like, he said, I tried to. He, I told you to wait for me. Um, basically, he told I told you to wait, for, told you to wait for me, but you know what I mean. Uh huh. Damn, what did you? Now you now gotta listen to in. Your Pierre in the morning. You know what I mean? Now you clocking in at the same job. 
And now you gotta listen all the time when you don't want. Now you hearing your beer when you wake up in the morning. Hey, like crazy. Damn. Damn, like crazy. That's exactly how I feel. <laughs> yeah, that shit too hard, bro. That's that that shit that I made. You know the shit made, that you uh, heard the shit I just put on my Instagram. Yeah, that's that. I love that shit right there. That shit kept that's playing. Me, I was hoping back it was on playing on the screen, but I forgot that it wasn't. Yeah, I, but that's what I was thinking like too. Like, bro, once we get to a point where we can put the music with the streaming. <sighs> Oh yeah, gaming with our. And shit then we playing. got the copyrights. It's ours. That's what like, I'm saying, it, bro. You gonna stream from then, your channel? I'm gonna stream from gonna mine, win. and we are gonna have the music playing. Like we gonna go song for song. That shit gonna be so fucking fire, bro. We can mix the yeah, verses, yeah. Even. We can go crazy, bro. We can mix. Oh yeah, bro, we can, we can, we can. This shit gonna be. But lit. you know what? What I was listening to, two I'm songs I was listening to that came on shuffle, but like a song I hated by Pierre. At first, and then it's like when that shit come on now, that shit always like a lituation, right? Try again. That shit oh, hard. Yeah, uh-huh. you're almost there. Uh, your just time is up. Uh, you're like, just don't let your skin, no pressure. Love. Yeah, yeah. Just for that. Girl, you bless That's so true. much. Man, I think you gotta uh, keep blessing. Okay, huh? gotta keep better blessing. Love, better love Let's. next time. Look, oh, if you yeah, love, <laughs> it's gonna be your best time. Yeah, best Tell me time. your feelings. Yeah. I'll confess mine. You I say you miss mine. me, put you on the next flight. Girl, you. Uh, uh, uh. That's my. Uh, 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 that's my dad. Uh, uh, where I mean, can't go back. Just got rich. Let's do math. Uh, uh, uh. Wait. That's good math. Five years late. Uh, Wait. Five five yo, this shit go hard. So then, I, then the other joint that came over right after that is like. They get rich. Dum, dum. This shit bittersweet. This shit broke my heart. Bro, oh, come on, yeah. bro. I can't love you, girl. You temporary. This nigga said, yo, smoke a fitty is early. This shit is not a pain. Not nah, for real. <laughs> it's a used to DM rappers, yo, brand new song. Yo, now your tape dropping and never worry. Like, never bro, come worry. on, Not bro. And then look at that. Like, you know what? I just heard. I heard something. Like, my girl sent me to some news, right? And she was like, let's see what it said. I don't know if this shit real. You know how shit go. Pockets lit. <sighs> yeah. Kanye's still in my date now. <laughs> Kanye West Donda 2 drops on February 22nd. 2 2 12 22 2 2 2 Not, not in your birthday. But that's my fucking birthday, bro. I'm the, I'm the nigga. You know what 2 2 2 means? Uh, I forgot what you, you told me. That's the number that means mean, wherever forgot. you at right now is where you're supposed to be. You on the right path. Like, and everywhere I've lived, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Up a, even up until this point, bro, I've lived not within either right across the street. Next door, or like within a block from me, it's been the address that's 222. Everywhere I've that's ever fucking lived, bro. crazy. Ain't that weird? That's crazy as shit. <laughs> and like my ex, like she yeah. used to say, she used to see that number all the time. Like she started seeing it consistently before she met me. Yeah, yeah, you told me that, that shit, shit weird. But then at the same time, you that know, placebo could be paying attention to shit way more. Didn't supposed to. Uh, <laughs> you don't believe in them numbers, numbers, numbers and shit. I, I used to, but like, it don't. I don't. Numbers I don't. don't no know, power, that shit don't huh? matter. No like, you. Nah. <laughs> I mean, kind of said they did with the whole focus shit. Like you know how subconscious mind go. I think it all affects everything, yeah. especially with everybody. Like, like I said, when I was a kid, I don't know if it's how I learned these numbers and colors as a, as a kid. But I used to associate certain numbers with certain colors. Like I so I associate a three with a yellow, a four with a t- with a blue. Like all uh-huh. the even numbers are darker colors, like blue, purple, navy, like sky blue. Might be a two. Two uh-huh. might be also a red. Like in my head, like I don't know why I just c- coordinate shit like that. And it's the problem. Like when I make music, that's why my shit is so me. Cause I don't be. Sometimes I don't see colors. I just hear shit. Sometimes I don't hear shit. I see shapes. Like sometimes certain sounds. Are like lines to me, you know what I mean? It's like certain things are like more like yeah. circles. Something things have different shapes, and it's like I be creating sometimes with my hands while I'm making the song. It's almost like play doh, but at the same like different versions of me come out in different ways. So it's like sometimes I might make some shit a certain way, but then be way more structural than what I would usually do. And it's because I'm writing right now, or I yeah. might be singing right now, or I might be. 
playing with my hands right now. Like that shit, wow. Like I don't know how certain people envision music, certain niggas, especially producers. But for me, I can see sound. And I and I and for I real? yeah yeah yeah. It's like a colorful shape, but it's always like the opacity is there. It's not. It's not. It's opaque. It doesn't have like. It's not a dark solid color. It's always like complete darkness. But I see these colors and these shapes that go together. Sometimes like usually the 808 is one big, you know, kind of opaque like circle that might be a faded gray. And it's like as much as I can make uh-huh. that color appear is the consistency and then certain sounds might have a green a purple a red yellow but it might be like a, a neon stream type vision in my head or like a star or a sparkle or a fucking a stick shape like a, i can like some like a, a hi hat is shaped like a toothpick in my head that's the exact color and the sound that <laughs> a hi hat gives me or it gives me a silver like a uh, very obtuse and thin trapezoid like or I mean a triangle, nice so shit. like one of, like shit like that. Like I be just I have weird ass shapes in my head, and it's according also to the pictures of the instruments when I'm playing them. Because when I first started playing, it was always like you could see which sound you was hitting and all that. So like you could see the drums yeah. and shit. Like now I don't even think about it. I just go based off hearing and feeling. I don't pay attention to the drum pad like I used to. But for real, nah. <laughs> I find I do it in the beginning to find the sounds, but once I found them, I try to just hear it and play based on that instead yeah. of looking at the drum pad and like trying to think too hard. Like that shit. I feel you. I'm a weird ass nigga, bro. Make a shit off of <laughs> I don't know if people nah, you like. Do you hear it, that bro. shit? Does that shit even make sense to you? Yeah, I've never told nobody that. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It's like, but like, yeah, my my process is way different. Like, everybody processes they process. Like fruit you know I mean? even has color to me, like the flavor of fruit. I can see it in my head. For real, that's fire. But it comes from just society. I feel like to me, like you know, laffy taffies and br- ba- banana and yellow and pineapple and juicy fruit and all these fucking terms and fucking l- l- labels and uh, marketing phrases. They stick out to me and they come up uh-huh. in my head as certain ways, and it's like so easy sometimes to talk about weird shit as a rapper because I'm envision like I see things in my head that you don't see. Like I remember when I was a kid. Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to know. Bro, I used to know what every crevice of my bedroom looked like. When I say every crevice, bro, I'm not fucking playing, bro. Like I could vi- envision. The smallest crevice, deepest start, like, and then I just used to see people who never went to certain places. Like, you don't even know what your whole house looked like, like shit, like, <laughs> like, like that's weird to to, to like people. Said. But it's like for me, it's like I just wanted people to like I said that to even like stress the reality of how like thought out I used to be and am still, and just in different yeah. ways. I don't really care about corners and crevices, even though I still know the crevice. Every crevice of this house too, but it's like, for me, yeah, for me, it's like my imagination being lit at all times. It's always lit. Like my imagination is way bigger than reality for me. I've n- I haven't lived in reality long enough to even grasp how to win in this thing. <laughs> like I, uh-huh. I barely have, and I'm already That's how my successful. Shit used to you know be. what I mean? I don't have. You said what? I said, that's how my shit used to be. I mean, I'm still, I, I don't really imagine stuff how I used to, like, but, like, I still, like, I don't know. I be doing, the only thing I be doing for real is, like, music video shit in my head. Like, that's probably See, it. See, I ain't yeah, used to never do that until now, too. But that's the thing, too. I do, I, <laughs> I will perform right here in this little fucking living room. And I'll get winded and everything. Like and shit. I had a water and I throw the water and I do everything. I cover shit up in here and just fucking throw water and shit. Because I'm most creative when I'm like when I'm like sad or I'm like somebody made me upset. But that's the thing, it's like, like that's sometimes like I'll be dying to go now. to a show and perform too though. I'll be wishing I could be just headlining. So I just headline. No nah, facts. I just run the yeah. show, I wait for them to call me out and be backstage, I be rocking out to somebody else's shit and I just be dapping niggas up and then I go on stage, like by myself. I do that shit by my fucking self. Yeah, and I'll, feed for, I'll break a sweat. I'll, I'll do a whole set. 
I had a DJ stop and shit. I be doing crowd work, everything by myself. Segwaying songs. Uh-huh. And I'm DJing them because I got the in ears. <laughs> but that's how I got the Bluetooth in ears too. I want. I want to DJ my own shit. Oh, you gonna DJ your own shit? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I ain't gonna like, commit to that yet. So I ain't gonna commit to that. It's just a set list. It's just like nah. I mean, you gotta like, play. Yeah, you gotta like, the DJ do more than that, especially at the show. He get the crowd hype too. He part of that too. Well, he get the crowd hype. I'm saying why you nah, that nigga why you, why you DJ change the songs or why you you don't want to be that artist who got the same set every time. It's just like the songs are just playing on its own. And for me, I want it to be. I want the show to have a set. Like I want my shit to be like Travis Scott. How sh- Travis Scott, he'll come in with a set list, but the shit don't don't nothing move without him. If he say hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, whatever was playing ain't happening because of the schedule. What's about to happen is what he say about mm-hmm. to happen. In the middle of the show. Yeah. I want to be able to change. You know what I mean? Once I learn the crowd too. Yeah. Like, I want to learn the crowd. Once I get the crowd. Oh, I see who y'all. Y'all some day ones. Y'all need to hear this first song. Matter of fact, this song was later for later in the set. But fuck that. We need to play that now. But then I got to have that DJ who know how to play that song. How to hit him. Like he know yeah. my fans. He know everything. Like he know my music. Like come on. Chase B and Travis Scott. They been together so long. That nigga know what the fuck. Uh huh. <sighs> Not for real. I don't, bro. I ain't never been to a concert in my life, and I feel like I know what a Travis Scott show Me feel either. like just through watching this shit. That DJ is important, nah, bro. Facts. That nigga before Travis even come out, the DJ is fucking it up. Like he's like yeah, yeah. it's a it's a whole it's a whole nation of people standing there, like a few thousand, and he like. Y'all heard that verse in the track scene like night and he got that the little ee, 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 like the, the but it's like it's sounding real fierce. Nigga just play that shit and then he got the little the what's it is that a kick? It might be a, like <laughs> I'm about to say thunder. But it's like this doom 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 like it's like almost a gunshot, but it's like that thunderous sound. This nigga just keep hitting it. Doom doom yeah. doom doom like get that energy rising, bro. People is losing their minds and the nigga oh. ain't even on stage, bro. Like come on, son. I need that shit right there. Like, <laughs> I be having the fire sparks. No, I, I be it. having all this shit in my head, bro, already. I know how expensive it's going to be for my performance. My, that, my shit, too. Like, I want my shit set up. Like, I want the stage, like, set up a certain way and all that. Like, how niggas do it. Like, J. Cole and then be doing extra shit. What? <laughs> Fucking Vince Stable say sometimes he designed his show before he even make the album. And that's how he make his albums based on how he want the show to look. Won't be like how though. Like how do you do that? Come on, man. You think he capping? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna say he capping. I'm just trying to figure out what does like Vince Stables even rap about, about, right? What does Vince Stables rap about? North Side Long Beach. North Side Long Beach. North Side Long Beach. Bitch, you <laughs> thirsty? Please <laughs> grab a sprite. My crib's lurking. Don't die tonight. And nah, I ain't never ran from nothing but the police. Is he like police. a proper gang? He rap. He make proper gangster music. Like he make like. I'm a gangster ass crip homie. North Side Long that's Beach. That's exactly how he like make music. <laughs> the funniest shit though from Vince Staples, which which is why he'll never like he all the shit he said on every interview media platform is fire, but that fucking TV show and that. <laughs> And he's sitting in that motherfucking barbershop, and that shit is called Catching All Phase. And this nigga is listening to some music, and he realized two bloods is sitting there waiting to get their hair cut, too. He just sitting there, he turned his music up, and the kid snatched the headphones out of his head. And the fucking song he playing, yeah, nigga, it's Crip. <laughs> nigga, it's Crip. <laughs> yeah, nigga, it's Crip. Yeah, nigga, it's Crip. <laughs> he said he was an officer, we pop cuz. Okay. So we opened his top up. <laughs> Say the fence at the bop Nigga you mark out He said pull up on me And show what that park about And then he punched that nigga In the middle of that line So the shit was just hard I'm like yo Like he good at a lot of shit I just fuck with Vince Staples bro. That, for that nigga to put that song in there And it's just funny It's like Out of all, out of all things he listening to He trying to like Not fight right now 
So he just turned the shit up. He like he know if these niggas know he a crip, it's gonna be on. And of course the kids snatched the uh-huh. headphones out, and that's the first thing. Yeah, nigga is crip. <laughs> He wasn't even really rapping that shit. He was funny yeah, nigga, shit. Crip. Yeah, nigga, it's crap. He was a I saw me. I gotta watch that shit. That, that, that's what opened this top. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, what the fuck is going on, son? So it's, it's certain shit like that, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I believe him. Because I believe he, may, he could have made that song for that scene. I didn't hear the song before then. Then I had to look yeah. it up, and I realized that people been looking up the song, too. But it's like, for me, it was like, okay. That's a way to do things. For me, it's like, I could do some of my tours like that or some of my albums like that, reverse like that. Yeah. I just don't know how to think about that right now. I don't have no resources. I don't get that money. That's what I'm saying. You ever heard I mean, of Vince Staples? I, could, I, I oh, see how ahead. he could do it. Here he go. <laughs> he just I, I can see how talk. he could do that. Like, Huh? Oh no! Go ahead. I said you're just gonna let me talk. No, of course. That's what I do. But like, nah. Got the umi. Oh. The umi. Where the fuck you get? I ain't gonna say where you get that from. Nah, you don't gotta answer that. Ooh, but like, damn. Mm. You on it? Nah. Not yet. You said not yet. <laughs> I just wanted you. I wanted you to get some shit so we could do that shit together on the pod. That'd be lit. Like shit, I don't know where to get that shit from. Like, <laughs> I say you places. <laughs> how, how, I want to say, how the fuck is you gonna do yeah, that? The website is <laughs> shit. You get the delivery. So it's out there. Oh, oh, it's out here. Do, 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 do. Come I'm on, crying. bro. I ain't getting that shit. I mean, what? You think I know where it's at out here? I don't That's all like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, like He like He I'm think not, I'm out here uh, With these white people Y'all can find anything <laughs> Bro All people do out here right. is, is meth Meth I'm and drink crying. Alcohol And go to bars And cigarettes Not just Not, not meth Meth and cigarettes What Heisenberg Live out there Apparently Like Cause we so close To fucking Canada And fucking I ain't gonna do all that. It's lit out here though. People be off the meth. They don't be off nothing but the meth and cigarettes. And you might get a couple drunk motherfuckers. That's crazy. <laughs> Nigga, you know how uh Young Thug he did that little Wayne drink. He made the Barter Six, the album the Barter Six. Yeah. I fucked with that. Because of Lil Wayne. Pussy is they never hit you. All these bitches they can let they never hit you. I got that baby she said she always has All they flat they diamonds that ain't looking glass Yeah, catch that nigga slipping I'ma do this Check out my attire, this is Mr. Fab like We can wrestle just like Randy Sav My jury, it called us an ad The cushion that I smoke can blow your lungs out I'ma walk in the cushion and get some more house On the bitch that puts a little bit your house Cause I cut down my nigga no one's out I done ran a new eel when I done go down I see those others like that cushion can turn up You nigga thought that they knew what they gonna do now I swear they got it for soon and I watch your order Yo, I hate Young Thug, bro. Like I hate every and like. This is what I meant to say bro. on the pod the other day. I'm gonna just let you. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna shut this. Shut the fuck up after this, bro. I hate how these South niggas. I'm hating on the South. I'm hating. Oh shit. Because I'm a nigga who was punctual, pronouncing his words, talking English, and here these niggas go. They don't even have to make fucking sense. They can sound stupid. They can sound stupid and make it. <laughs> Like this is why I never fuck with ugly no, guys. Cause I don't do right like that. I never do it about it. I, I, everything I say about go about about to be fucked up. I ain't never gonna say it. Not motherfucker. What? I ain't gonna put that shit. I'm just do that. I'm a dip. I'm a dip. I'm gonna get money. I'm gonna get money. I ain't just dip. But yeah. what the fuck is going on? Or designer. DC Young Fly. Or designer. All these niggas. You don't know what the fuck they saying. But you know what they saying. But it's like, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Like, look what makes it. You can't say hell no. Or hell no. Nah. Like, you too corny. Mm-hmm. You like, you you too tough. You too... There's no character to it. Like, there's no character to hell no. But but what if that is, though? Like, how you gonna tell me it ain't character to, to my voice? <laughs> That's what the... But I gotta no, say it, shit wrong. I gotta not pronounce the word. I gotta fake South in order for it to make sense to people. 
That shit don't make no sense. Like no character. Like, like this is what I'm saying. Uh-huh. What was so? Where was the character before this shit was the 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 popular most normalized shit ever? What was the character then? I don't think it was any character then. Like, so it was <laughs> all that shit was just until not somebody real. decided to say. Until somebody decided to say nah, and then they said well, no. That's not what, what happened nah. at all. Yeah. Nah, nah, niggas was winning, and then what happened was, them niggas just. This is what I believe is gonna happen with anything. Anything that's popular, bro. If you popular long enough, you're gonna get old to motherfuckers. People like and people gonna just start championing anything that's just new because it's just different. They don't want to hear the same shit for too long. I think that's what happened with all this shit. So now it gets to a point where. The South finally get a chance because the South used to be fighting for their chance to have a voice in hip hop and all that shit. They proud of shit they taking over hip hop now. The point is that yeah, people got tired of hearing the same shit. That's just all it is. It's not like y'all beat New York. It's not like y'all beat the punctual lyrical sound. People got tired of lyrics because lyrics got old. Yeah, you being new and not doing lyrics wasn't really that wild. But it was because niggas, all they niggas was doing was lyrics. It was like, niggas was tired of that shit, bro. Niggas clicked on you and you was an easy listen. You fell right in. So it's just like, we consumed with you. But after a while, it's going to get to a point where it's like, all right, we sick of these niggas. Same shit going to happen. Facts. And it's like, what are we playing then is what I'm saying. (laughs) What And that's what I'm playing now. It's the same shit. It's just, I feel like it's always going to go back and forth. It's never going to be like one thing. I got a question. That worked. Yeah. I'm a hater and proud. Why? It's, 20, it's 2022. Mm-hmm. Like, why Why are we still talking about album sales? Like, why do, why do like, academics and everybody keep talking about album sales? It's like, record labels com- competing. Who is really just going out and buying an it's album? It's the record labels competing. Like, and then the people who are blogging and promoting and doing videos and even people who are keeping this shit circulating in in as a conversation period are people who work for these labels and work for and rely on the on the structure of the industry to develop their YouTube or their offline their independent con- content whatever they do independently whatever mm-hmm. their media personality is or their voice in the culture is is very closely hinged to the structure of this system in the hip hop industry, it's like it's like everybody you trying to you trying to please certain people pockets. It's people choose the sides. It's like I'm friends, more friends with this label than I am with the other one. So I'm gonna talk about this album sale. And at the same time, even if even beyond that, people might just be talking about it because it's still going on. What is the other option? Like, why do people talk about them in the first place? Why do we ever make this a thing? And it's because it's like yeah. it's niggas back then who like cared about it. Now, I don't believe we should Crazy. care about it. I don't think niggas should be even... Like, people still make albums for the charts, bro. <laughs> like, good artists but the, but like, are worried about the charts. Yeah. So, it's like, as long as the games keep sucking the dick of the old industry, it's never going to be done. I feel like right now, it's like we're, in the, we're living through the tearing apart of creators, artists, content... In this system, that structure, I think it's it's coming apart right now. Uh-huh. But it ain't done yet. It's not fully separated. It's still people who like, like I said, you put that deal on the table, they gonna think about it. They got shit to think about. For us, it's like we know what we doing. Yeah. But everybody not like that yet. It has to become popular, normalized to be independent. And until then, everybody gonna keep eating the same way they always been eating. They gonna keep shuffling, even if it's shit content. They gonna keep pushing it, bro, because they have to. They don't know what else to push. They waiting for the value to switch over yeah. to, you know what I mean? The overwhelming value to switch over to the independent side. Like Nipsey was enough, should have been enough for everybody, but he not because people still want to see more. They want to see a Elon Musk come up independently. They want that type of billionaire independence. And they look at Kanye as not independent because he did all this shit with all these labels and all this shit. So it's like, you got to have icons coming from a certain pathway for people to really respect it and stop going the old way. Because they do that because they feel Uh like 
All right, it's in the works. I'm not about to go use my career to fucking go for it and change the game for everybody. But it, I'm going to wait until the niggas do. And once the niggas do it, why would I do this shit? I'm going to do the independent shit. Because I'm going to have yeah. a clear path. It's going to be normal. Everybody is independent. Like You see what I'm saying? Like People wait till the shit is safe to do. It's like trying the vaccine. I ain't trying that shit now. <laughs> like shit. If I have to, I'll do it. But I ain't going to do it no time soon. i do that shit years later. Or months later, like wow, I'm no, always like, late. I'm never trying to be on time. They wonder why black people late all the nah, time. That's too, intentional, though. nigga. We try and watch y'all go bug out, and then we realize, all right, we good because we ain't wasn't here on time. Like y'all niggas was here on the on the time. Like you think like the shit. enemy set the time so you could be there and have a fair fight? <laughs> <Make sense. laughs> Funny. I was watching Real Husbands. He said, "Why the." F- he said, nigga, he told Bobby Brown, he said, why are you late? He uh-uh. said, why are you so late? He said, nigga, because you unnecessarily early. Right, nigga. right, like, right, <laughs> right. Bro, you said, <laughs> you said, did you just see Bobby try to, he tried to walk down and go get the ball. He didn't know the balls came back, man. <laughs> like, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, he said, I thought, he said, I thought he was locked up. He said, nigga, I thought Bobby was dead. <laughs> So if you was Dwayne Martin in that situation, would you feel some type of yeah, way? Yeah, I feel some type of way, but I wouldn't. <laughs> like, if I knew how bad I was, that's different. And I know who Kevin is. I'm not. I'm. Yeah. A, I'm, a, I'm more worried about the show getting money because I would. I still would think that I would get money from that. Uh huh. My name is Dwayne. I'm so. a real nigga. I was like, well, well, I felt him on that. On that because like I, I could imagine. Being out the game so long and finally having the shot to be in the game as you, you know what I mean. You kind of want to get and that you off. Get you don't want to just like fumble that opportunity. Facts. But it's like I was like, if I was Kevin, I tell I would have told that nigga, look, I give you a percentage because I'm playing you. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like we gotta yeah, work, it, we gotta look at this. It's a team thing. You feel? That's the thing too about all of that shit. I'm I'm with niggas running it all the way up as possible, like even fucking me over as long as possible. Cause once you run up the fucking show, whatever you decide to give me after that, is way more than it would be if I tried to fight it the whole time. They said a hundred fifty thousand episode. No, he was like he's like for the like, season. A episode. That yeah. nigga Dwayne fell out again. Boom. <laughs> Crazy. That shit funny, bro. Cause it's like, dude, like, imagine those numbers getting thrown at you, and you got your mans oh, yeah. right there. That's your man. <laughs> what you doing, NASCAR? Uh huh. They they look look, look they I got you trying you to do the Rondo I- show, but they got you playing Rondo. They want you to be Rondo. It's a, oh no, I can't do that. I don't know how to do <laughs> Rondo that. Rondo just got fired though. And they throwing Dude, out Rondo 150 million an episode. Oh, 150 million episode. <laughs> said, I don't know how to do Rondo. Said, like, this sucks. I don't care. I was like, I ain't thinking about the money. I don't know how to do that shit. How the fuck am I do Rondo? I don't know how to. Uh, in fact, that's like, uh, nah, I can't. I'm going to end up being NASCAR on Rondo's show. They're going to have to change yeah, this shit to yeah, yeah. the NASCAR <laughs> P show. Like, yeah. the fuck? That's how it was, though, when I was editing the pod that one time and I put, like, on episode Who's Your Man? I just kept putting the song in there. I was like, uh-huh. "It's these songs are too fire. It's too much NASCAR going on. It, it just spoke to me. I was like, like <laughs> this nigga has to have his own show because this episode sounds like it's his show. I was like, yo, he got to have a, a show. Like shit. Because it's like. That's why I don't be talking. I, like, I was like, yo. he could have his intro music and then his outro music. And then he could have his pod and then he could like. You don't even got to be a pod, but you know what I'm saying. You could just like have your talk show, your live stream, your, yeah. your in-person show. You. I could see you being one of them niggas who kind of interview girls and like have different questions and like uh-huh. you know them YouTube niggas. But like this the thing though, I'm like if I made my own podcast, bro, everybody would be coming for me, bro. They gonna be on my ass, bro. They gonna be like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? You sound stupid, bro. What are you talking about? Even if you like, did though, that's time. the whole I'll, point. I like, go through that. I just want, I want, I just want, I just want to like, I can't wait until it's like. Two tycoons, like two tycoons, like you got a whole universe of shit you do over there. Yeah, and you you fuck around and still find the time to pod with me. You know what I mean? Like you just you just did a whole NASCAR race today, and you coming back to sit down and pod. 
You know, like, yeah, man, I was on the road all day. But like, why not? Like, but that's fire. I'm not saying there's a problem. I'm saying that yeah. content that was is crazy. Yeah, that's me. fire. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted, I so want I, you to I still have. To I want your fans to be like, yo, oh, he on Rondo pod tonight, and then, oh, Rondo on his pod tonight. It's like that's gonna be so fucking fire, bro. Your part gonna be yeah, about what you want uh-huh. your shit to be about. It's gonna be about maybe one thing or, or multiple things or whatever you fucking feeling. And then it's like you can have mad shit. Like this is the thing. I, I'm I'm with building shit for my interest. If I find a new interest, I'm gonna build a whole thing around it where I can get, I can make it a part of what I do. You know what I mean? It's like, uh-huh. like this game shit. I never thought I'd be a game man ass nigga. I never even thought I'd like video games and I like it. I'm like okay, I can't just That's play it. it for nothing. If I'm able to stream it, I will stream it. Because I just want, yeah, you know what I mean. It's like you can get as much as me as possible. Pause. I ain't doing OnlyFans. I ain't doing that. That's how I feel about the music shit. The same shit. All right, what if the bitches was like, "Yo, you need an OnlyFans page." What would you do? Uh, OnlyFans. What am I doing on there? My fucking bitches on OnlyFans. Yeah. Well, they. What if bitches is like offering Uh, to fuck (laughs) with you if you start a page? You only gonna fuck bitches on there? You ain't gonna like just do shit solo? <laughs> yeah, I, I, nah, nah, I, I only fuck bitches on there. Like. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing so. So you gonna let niggas watch nothing you? Nothing solo. I'll, I'll, do do nah. fuck bitches. That's different because like that's it's different. It's, right? That's different. Even solo, niggas it's like niggas, to niggas gonna sit there. <laughs> uh, it's like, like, different because niggas is looking nah, at me, but I'm looking there, at the like, pussy. I'm fucking. With you. <laughs> 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 but you looking at me and me fucking the pussy, so it's like it's different. And it's just like yo, me sitting right there playing with my dick on the camera, like that's fucking. That's wild. Like what? That's wild. You gotta wildin do what you gotta shit. do for like, your viewers, though. You gotta feed the fans. Nah, no, the fuck I don't. <laughs> you gonna be one of them bitches on, uh, on OnlyFans who in their bio say I do what I want. <laughs> I hate them bitches. I be like, hold on, Lying, bro. bitch, you just a turn off already. Why am I even here if you go talk about? I I do what I choose to do. That's your bio, shorty. You think I'm about to be yeah. horny now? Like but that's the you thing. You a streamer. It's not about you. Like I hate stream- streamers. But you don't you, you, you the like, same nigga. Like but that. he like look, look you the same. <laughs> it's about nah. This the saying, thing. Like, this the thing is different. <laughs> I, I chose my I chose my niche and I chose, I chose my niche. My you know what I'm saying? If a girl he used the word niche. If a girl want to get on there, if a girl want to get on there, so you only and do one do category. Solos, you only offer one thing. They say you not the variety. Look, and then pack. they say, yo, I want to see you fucking. I want to see you fuck somebody on here. She say, nah, I'm good. I'm. I'm this you is not get that, your only that channel. To the point where the people like, is sending you girls at that they want to see you fuck. And then they gonna fucking be spamming shorty. Then they, that, they gonna be spamming be fire. shorty. Yeah. They gonna be spamming shorty, and she gonna be like, "Yo, she gonna hit you up like, yo, the, they want us to fuck, so we, we gotta fuck." Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's gonna be like a Floyd fight. <laughs> Niggas is gonna be <laughs> like shit, but that, that that's how that shit be though. Like they got videos like that, like oh this porn this porn star versus this porn star, like they fighting or some shit. Like they were. <laughs> The porn competitions <laughs> brought to you by Kid Creators the Network. Flies. That's gonna be crazy because we gonna have to see have who that. You know me. I'm, I'm putting my I'm, I, look. If I see it and I see a lucrative path, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. sticking my neck in the in the ring. Yeah, I'm wilding, but no, I'll I stretch the you. company company policy for this shit. For mad shit, we'll figure it out. Like shit, <laughs> we got mad shit to offer, Not man. That's real. why I was happy about this game and shit too, because as graphic as these games get. I could still say this video is made for kids. I don't have many videos on, like the podcast. I can't say it's made for kids. That'd just be wrong. Uh huh. But the game is like fucked I up. I mean, it could be, but you know, kids. But I don't want to test it. Like I don't want to go through off. all the shit. I don't want to go through. <laughs> it's a company at the end of the day, so I think bigger than me right now. I'm thinking beyond the podcast. I'm just yeah, thinking about what is said on this. Easy to market as explicit. Say it's not made for kids. Boom. Even not saying kids won't get to it because they are. Because I got to everything I wanted to get to. I'm saying, uh-huh. you know what I mean. Structurally, we did our part. It's not made for kids. The pod is not for kids. Yeah, we know kids are gonna listen. They might be the most people who listen is the kids, but and we'll even talk to the kids on the pod because we know they're listening. But it's like, like <laughs> that's the thing too. Is like as far as this game and shit. This is you can't never say I'm not. It's not for the kids. No, like you hear the fucked up shit they be saying on these games. This is for kids. Like kids can legally buy this shit. 
So it's crazy, bro. Facts. It's like people can legally buy this shit for kids. So it's like, okay. Nah, for real. I finally, really for this is like me broadening that, that, span, that, that section of the company. You know what I mean? We got kid friendly, family friendly content. <laughs> Since Facts. I'm not shooting a movie yet. Go ahead. What, what you talking about? Speaking of kids. Damn, Speaking of kids, like, since when did my fucking 30s, since when has 35 been considered old? Like, I remember when 26 was still young as shit. Like, it was just like, you said, like, when you watch them old black movies, like, like with Vivica Fox in there and shit, Morris Chestnut, them motherfuckers was 26 on the movie, but it was like they was grown as hell. Like, they just lived for a long ass time. They working, they, they got business suits on, they working in the office and shit, and they 26 years old. I'm like, you would have thought they was 30. I'm like, y'all young as shit. Yeah, I mean, that's how, that's how the economy go, though. You know? The people got to work hard to get a little bit. It's going to reflect like that. You know what I mean? Sometimes, um, Back in the day, uh-huh. a little bit was a lot. You know what I mean? So certain shit, like certain people would look good. Like shit. On well, Tim, because the money just was different back then. You could do different shit. And it's like if they were smart at oh, the right yeah, time, it, it, it clicked for them. And there's other people who like, and it's back then too, you don't have many, like this is back then. So it's like certain shit uh-huh. is on record that ain't on record. It wasn't on record back then. There was no record of it. You ain't see the bummy ass niggas back yeah. then. You saw them, but it was so few nah, compared facts. to now. Like everybody, you everybody who's a bum can still have an Instagram. So it's like <laughs> you still exactly. get to see yeah, them. Yeah, 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 be yeah. Bummy, you know, so it's a different thing. I, I just that's what I'm saying too. It's like I, I don't know. I just want I like I just want to have a show with you, bro. I want to do a real show, like like. Where I write it, where I write it, and everything, huh? Not like we like we on TV and shit. You trying to be an actor? Would you be an actor? Would you act? Fuck yeah, yes. All right, well, if you would be an actor, we can do both. We can do reality and acting. I was thinking about starting with reality because that's the easiest shit to do. Is just be ourselves and just have a script to Uh, the point where it's like a basis where we where we riffing from. But like, dog. Like uh-huh. I want to have a set up. I want to front. I want to be able to front the money. I want to like pay all the money for us to have all the props we need, all the locations we need. Have the real. If we need experts involved, like pay the people to be on the show and like. Ah, right, endless movie ideas, bro. I'm trying to make my own final destination, bro. And I'm, I'm trying to just like be on my quint- my black. What, what genre is the movie gonna be? Real, like. Sci-fi, comedy, what? It's. Nah, it's, it's a horror movie. You, you a ever horror find a destination? Yeah, nigga, but I'm saying what genre are you going to do? Is it, like, oh, it's yeah. your movie. You saying you own oh, your yeah, own I'm trying, Yeah, I'm trying to make scary movie. Oh, you yeah, trying to I'm do horror? Like, okay. I'm trying to... But, yeah, I'm trying to make a Final Destination, like, 8 or some shit. Like, the next Final Destination, I want I want to, like, create that shit myself. I right, talk to the nigga and all that. Like, I got to go to the meeting and be like, yeah, you know, I'm trying to do this, do that. And, like, remember, yeah, whatever I got to do. Remember Steve? And I want to act in it, though. I want to be the nigga. Perfect, but that's fire. You want to be the black nigga in the? <laughs> uh huh. I want to be the nigga that had the vision that black everything just dude that about door, to die. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> like shit. You and your childish can't be no shit. But look though. Nah, for real. Um, remember how I used to want to be Steve Irwin and shit? When was that? Nigga. He told some when was that? This the nigga who said he was with me with the bugs and the animals and shit. Steve, uh, oh, he's, oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. used to no, be no, my no, idol. That, that was my yeah, nigga. Yeah, I used to pod. look up to yeah, was Steve yeah, Irwin, yeah. so I used to always want to do everything he doing. Now it's that nigga. Shout out to, the, I think his name. What's his nigga name on Instagram? I forgot the actual Instagram name, so I'm gonna shout him out. Fuck. So you said you was talking about that on the pod? I forgot. Yeah, I'm like, this nigga, no. He was there. You was at school with me. Yeah, J. Prehistoric Pets. Listen, all I know is Crocodile Hunter. J. P. S. Prehistoric Pets. J. A. Y. Prehistoric Pets on Instagram was like the next nigga, but like, to me. He lit on Instagram with the shit, but like, and he says it on his Instagram, on his videos. He be with the animals and snakes and the lizards and shit, talking some living the dream, living the dream. I'm like, yo, he living my dream for real. Like, that's what Mountain Man supposed <laughs> to be. Mountain Man supposed to to start off it's just like a simple like vlog me like 
You know what I mean? Sometimes just being live and just just going like just doing whatever I can whenever I'm traveling in the woods on foot, like setting up camp. You know, just yeah, just hanging out with niggas and smoking weed or whatever we doing in there, out there podding out there. I'm trying to have pods by campfire, bro. I used to do that shit with Dale, oh, but when the pod started in episode seventy three, the last episode is 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 about it's that conversation that started this podcast. And that shit is so lit. So, like, we was out on the lake, bro, by the water. We had a fucking trailer, and we we just mm-hmm. had the the bonfire, and like, bro, we just sat there, bro, and just talked with the stars, the nature. It was so fucking lit, bro. You have to do this shit with me. Like, it's gonna. I'm my own property, and we gonna pod by the water, bro, at night. We like, bro. I potted until the morning with this nigga. All night. God damn. Like, bro, it was points I was literally, legitimately nervous and scared. Because it was so late and so... Everything was dark, pitch black around us. All you could see is the stars, the fire, and that nigga. And he could see you. And we had weed. And we was just smoking. And it was just like, yo. It was almost psychedelic like we took something. But we didn't take nothing. It just was like, yo. I could dive right now. And I wouldn't... And it would just be a wild moment. Oh, your shit started over? No, 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 no. We good. All right. It's my, my TV fucked up. Like, no, nah, I'm good. We still recording, but like, I fucking love nature, bro. I feel you. Ain't that, that shit crazy? Shit. Like, come on, bro. Ain't nobody doing that with the yeah. pod. And, like, I swear, niggas be trying to steal my but ideas, I, I, bro. I said to myself, I fly I you out myself, here just I'm to just shoot. to have a whole pod on by fire. Like, we really could go camping, bro. And like, fuck it. I said it's I fun. can do that. Yeah, no, I'm trying to do that shit. Yeah, Facts, I'm trying to do that summer. shit. I'm not trying to do that, Cali, I, 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 I bro. I be watching camping videos, bro. fucking mountain lion and shit. I'm crying. Wild party. I ain't party. think about that. <laughs> <laughs> Live stream wild party. dead. Like, sit. Tell him to drop it. Like, the clip with the saber tooth bit NASCAR. <laughs> but, like, this the, the thing. I, I said, yo, I want my music videos. I want my music videos to be shot in the woods. Like, most of my music videos. Me I want too, though. That's my shit. That's where I first took ass. I went straight to the woods. And the first album I heard was... Like uh, shit. I think it was Before the Money, and then it was um a bunch of Fleet Fox albums. Oh, Fleet you heard that on Acid? Yeah, a bunch of Fleet Fox's albums. Um, and then Childish Gambino, uh, The Internet. Because The Internet... Um, it's just mad. All of the ones I had on my phone, I listened to. Like, even I re-listened to Chance the Rapper, uh, 10 Day. Like... All in the woods, looking at the trees, everything. I feel like I could see every cell on the tree, and I was just like, "In." That's why I understand all the lyrics now. I feel like ever since I took, it, I understand everything as if like I know the artist. As soon as they say it, I know exactly what they're talking about. Like uh-huh. the acid started that shit, bro. Because it was like, it was this one moment on that album because the internet. He was like, he said, "AK brr, cell phone." Brr. No, he said money kind of hello, and it was like when he said hello, I was on the ass, and so it was like he was talking to me. He was like, "Do you hear this <laughs> shit? Do you hear how they got the same sound? All three of these things, and it's like yeah. you just making uh. niggas <laughs> like they making money off the <laughs> bodies, bro. Like they making money off of killing people on camera and filming it, and like he was that was that song. He was like world star. He was like." Didn't stop when I heard shots. Watch a dude drop from a Glock at a world star. <laughs> Got a flash on him. Uh-uh. We all oh, big yeah. brother now. Little sis, little brother round. Murder talking, you not a sound. Brr, money kind of. AK, brr, cell phone. Brr. Hello? And I was like, yo, that nigga wild, son. Like, he wild. Like, to to be like a... Shit. Like, I don't know. Like, Tyler's like that. He can be a sober artist. But talk to a nigga who is high as fuck in such a way, bro. Uh-huh. Like, how did you think of this yeah. shit sober, bro? Did you anticipate all of these, <laughs> all of this highness that I got? Like, what is going on, son? Like, these like niggas, shit. like, this is a well thought out song. It makes you hear the years that niggas put into their music sometimes when you take acid. Like, it's straight uh. up. Like, come on, bruh. I was sitting here, like, I, when I told you, I, I, I think I wrote about it. I don't know if I straight told you, but my face, I looked in the mirror the first time I took acid. My face literally changed into my dad's face. Then it changed from my dad's face to like a warrior African face and it turned into Shaka Zulu. You know who Shaka Zulu is? He was like a warrior. 
yeah. leader nigga, right? Uh-huh. And he used to like, and I always say this every time I bring him up, but he used to have these drills with his soldiers. And he'll have naked bitches dance around him. And he'll have a nigga standing there naked, but whoever yeah, get hard oh, first used to chop their shit yeah, up, right? That so that's shit. wild as shit, right? But he was like, he didn't play that shit. Like, he wanted niggas to have control and shit. So anyway. Uh, my face turned to that nigga face Or whatever Google image I had of that nigga at the time And dog Guess what song was playing Summer what? side Summer side Out of mercy I'm crying Will I see you through my Jesus Will I see you through my Jesus My Jesus Bro come on bro You may run it with them Ape shit Apex at the Empire State neck. Hand on Empire ground, my state niggas neck. take that. In the state of mind, gotta stay facts up. Well, Bro, I, I used to know that verse. Nigga. It's a few Get verses you. on that album that was out way before that album. And I used to know all them shits. Before it was even Big Dusty. Yeah, I know all I them I used them to shits, hear bro. the radio version. He used to he rapped that verse on the radio mad songs before mad times before he ever fucking recorded Big Dusty. I think I heard that shit before. And I used to download all the shit off that piff. So I still got shit on my phone from where these niggas was on radios, like, rapping these verses. Even before uh, number 99 was a verse. Every song, every verse on that whole song, these niggas ain't ready for the war. No one about cut the jet goes to yeah. draw. Please shut your breath up. We ain't gonna settle for no icebreak. Let us, let us eat when this war. Let us, let us eat when this war. That was all out. Before oh, they like, like and, and he was overseas, street, like rapping yeah, to over like in, in UK me. and like where UK DJs like, oh, oh no, it's Troy Bettis. He but he's gonna yeah. rap for me. <laughs> I was like, yo, niggas is out there doing Tim Westwood TV with these bars. Y'all don't even know. Like I said, I used to listen to the Hot ninety seven I mean, Fabio Zombie freestyle every day. That shit on Spin Rilla still. He said, kid. I get jiggy with it. I'm real witty with it. Grab a titty, watch it, wiggy, wiggy, like my spliffy. I need a Ben Spoon, I need your pussy's handy. On to the next, huh? Live from the underground, peep the stand. Wild motherfucker, golden smell, trying to stay level headed. Hold shit down, walk around, no crown. Champion, pound, flat bush, raise me the drug game, pay me your bitch. I'm blazing and smoking in the same speed, but I've been a mouthpiece, nigga, that no seeds. Reese, cause we've been here. Permanent ink flow, got the chopper pop, your partners fill them up like empanadas. Young man, any given day could be your last. Elevate your mind and touch wine. Visions from the sky. Zombies never die. We multiply. Told you multiply. You know how our Eric arcs out. Told you multiply. Told her don't be shy. Multiply. Uh-huh. Like the chronic. Shorty like my spiffy. Like the nigga. Honest. I'm the quarter. Nigga, nigga happy. I be nigga, just happy. like him. Like I swear to God, bro. That nigga needs some some money. Can't buy happiness. Dummy it is happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga sound just like all three of them, Like all three of them niggas, bro. You don't want my... Niggas don't don't need to uh, test my impersonations, bro. uh, I remember remember before we came out here, you was doing impersonations, niggas, all points. (laughs) Shit was crazy, bro. I wish I could have just... But that's why I know I got to... That's why I need help. I need a team because if I had a team, I could have somebody right there, like... Perfecting what uh-huh. I need to perfect. I can't even. I don't know what to perfect. What to focus on. It's too much shit. Nah, facts, facts. It's too much shit I can do. For but real. then when you perfect it, you ain't gonna want to do it no more because it's just like, yo, I'm I'm great at this shit. I want to perfect some other shit. No, I'm saying perfect it as in like pay, get material in it so I can perform it. Okay. Form yeah, jokes yeah. around these impersonations and set it up and have the way to do it. That comes with work, and uh-huh. I, I don't have to like I don't know what to focus on because I'm focused. I can focus on anything. So as as long as I have a person who's like, no, they watching the numbers, they watching the growth. They like this is what's hitting right now. Push these, like do these jokes, and it's not no like third party, no int- no no input from outside. It's all from me, all based on just my team yeah. watching me and what I want to do. I'm doing everything I want to do, and it's like, what do I need to focus on? I can focus on this, like. Facts. Like I said, like I said on the on seventy two with my girl, like some of these jokes, bro, they be good ass jokes, bro, but they be about her, so she don't want me to tell them. So it's shit that like was seventy one. But I, I'm, but you, th- bro, I tell the jokes to her. That's the problem. It's like I'm here. She wouldn't know what the jokes no, was. That's if I what we was talking her. about. But I'm saying I know they good yeah. jokes, so it's like. They're going to be jokes. I just know that I'm going to be a better comedian one day when that's like, I can be great at joking about everything instead of just only about the shit and the people that I know. Even though it's like, 
still good jokes, and I should be able to joke about whatever I want to joke about. The problem is, for me, yeah. not a problem, but what I'm my plan is to just be. I want anything that I come in contact with. Don't show me shit because you you can know that it's about four or five jokes I don't got. I done made up over that shit already. Like you said. It's just funny. It's a relationship and meeting content. You know how it go. Uh-huh. They're like, yo, that uh, shit fire, but it's about me, so, uh. <laughs> I, I, my, I'm like, bro, don't nobody know you. You don't want fans? Like, do you not here for fans, are you? I'm not here for fans. I don't. Wait, what? But anybody that say that, you kind of like, what you doing it for, for real? Like, you, like if she you want to hear for she's fans. She's not serious, but she's serious. Ahead. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. The joke is fucked up. A lot of the jokes are fucked up. But they're funny. Let's take out. I mean, of course, that that's what make it funny because it's real. Know, it ain't fucked up. I it's know, probably some real I know, shit. But imagine being the butt <laughs> of the joke, man. It's It's not really funny. It's not yeah, funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then don't yeah. let the shit go viral. And nah, you really, it really do be your best jokes at the time. Don't let it. That's why I say you gotta like let shit. these. Jokes, <laughs> I tell her you gotta let these jokes grow in the house, so that way they evolve to a point where they don't have to be. I don't have to make jokes about this. Like I got better jokes. Like you gotta let me as a comedian grow like to shit. get better jokes anyway. If these are my best jokes right now, they're my best jokes because this is all I got right now. But wait until I get more. That shit made me... Just survive the way. That made me think about... Uh, that shit made me think about... Uh, he was like, you stole... He said, nigga, you, he said, you stole my joke. You stole my pickle, pickle joke. joke. He said, she said, what's the pickle joke? She said, all right, look, this that this the pickle joke. Then he said, all right, this the pickle Nobody joke. Nobody even so like... So I put my pants down. I, I put my pants down. She said, oh, look at that little pickle. And I was like, what, 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 what's up? What's the deal? Like, it's just how, it's just how he said it. It wasn't what he said. It's just how fast he said, like how smooth he just it said it. It just was like. It made it not funny. <laughs> yeah. Like when, like when Oliver, like when Oliver went on stage and he told his joke and he was like saying it like real yeah. corny and shit. And then Chris Rock said it like, and everybody was fucking with it. That you wags. Like, <laughs> Why you smiling? I'm glad you was. He said, <laughs> he just stole your joke. <laughs> Dumbass. He, said, he, he just stole it. your joke. He said, no, he endorsed it. But he nah, endorsed um, it. Like, what? Yeah, you're right, man. But no, nah, though, bro, I, this is this is just where I'm at with it. I just think that... um. Man, we creators, man. We're going to make whatever we make, and it's going to offend whoever it offends. What I'm, my plan is to just be, I want anything that I come in contact with. Don't show me shit because you you can know that it's about four or five jokes I done got. I done made up over that shit already. Like you said. It's just funny. It's a relationship and meeting content. You know how it go. Uh-huh. They're like, yo, that uh-huh. shit fire, but it's about me, so... Uh. <laughs> I, I, my, I'm like, bro, I don't nobody know you. You don't want fans? Like, do you not here for fans, are you? I'm not here for fans. I don't. Wait, what? But anybody that say that, you kind of like, what you doing it for, for real? Like, you, like if she you want to hear for she's fans. She's not serious, but she's you serious. Wanna... You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. The joke is fucked up. A lot of the jokes are fucked up. But they're funny. That shit got, I mean, of course, that that's what make it funny because it's real. Know, it ain't fucked up. I it's know, probably some real I know, shit. But imagine being the butt <laughs> of the joke, man. It's, hard. it's not really funny. It's not yeah, funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then don't yeah. let the shit go viral. And nah, you really, it. it really do be your best jokes at the time. Don't let it. That's why I say you gotta like let shit. these. Jokes, <laughs> I tell her you gotta let these jokes grow in the house, so that way they evolve to a point where they don't have to be. I don't have to make jokes about this. Like I got better jokes. Like you gotta let me as a comedian grow like to shit. get better jokes anyway. If these are my best jokes right now, they're my best jokes because this is all I got right now. But wait until I get more. That shit made me... Just survive the way. made me think about... Uh, 
That shit make me think about. Uh, he was like, "You stole." She said, "Nigga, you, he said you stole my joke. You stole my pickle, pickle joke. joke." He said, "She said, what's the pickle joke?" She said, "All right, look, this that this the pickle joke." Then he said, "All right, this the pickle Nobody joke." Nobody even. So like. I pulled my pants down. I, I pulled my pants down. She said, "Oh, look at that little pickle." And I was like, "What? What? What? What's up? What's the deal?" I'm like, it's just how it's just how he said it. It wasn't what he said. It's just how fast he said. Like how smooth he just it said it. It just was like it made it that funny. <laughs> yeah. Like when, like when Oliver, like when Oliver went on stage and he told his joke and he was like saying it like real yeah. corny and shit, and then Chris Rock said I'd it, like everybody was fucking with it. That you wags. Like, <laughs> why you smiling? I'm glad you asked. He said <laughs> he just stole your joke. <laughs> Dumbass, he, he just DK. stole your joke. He said no, he endorsed it. But he no, endorsed um, it. Like what? Yeah, you're right, man. But no, though, bro. I, this is this is just where I'm at with it. I just think that um, man, we creators, man. We gonna make whatever we make, and it's gonna offend whoever it offend. It is also gonna make whoever happy Facts. happy. It's people out there like us. It's people out there Facts. that I don't have to edit one thing for because they enjoy it as is. Because I enjoyed it. Uh-huh. it. It's the same thing. Exactly. So. Yeah. I'm never, I'm never in the mindset of withholding something from coming out because of who might not like it. Because that's just not how I work. I have to work for the art for just the sake of doing it. Me, the, just the simple fact that I'm doing it is proof that somebody will enjoy it because i enjoy doing it it's no way for me to like redo that math that math only works one way for me i don't do it like oh people didn't like that so let me take it down what if the people who like it didn't get there yet and now it's gone That's how I felt about my music when I first, like, when I, like, a couple years ago, I used to, like, post songs and take them down. delete them joints. Yep, me too. Uh-huh. I used to. Because we forgot that you know, zero I, plays I, I doesn't mean that you're bad. It just don't mean, it mean nobody exactly. heard it. <laughs> nobody even heard it. Exactly. How you gonna take it down? Nobody even heard it, bro. Exactly, bro. Like, nigga thought, oh, niggas don't want to hear it because they're not playing it. No, bro. Exactly. Nobody heard it yet. Uh-huh. They don't know why to play it because but, they haven't heard it yet. Exactly. And, and I know that now. You know what I mean? But it's like, damn, man. I took them songs down. That shit was good, though. But then, and then a, a, a little bit is the fucking Pro Unlimited shit. You know, I've had to delete songs and make space to keep trying to drop. Man, shit. Nah, man. Anything you wanted to get off on the pod, though? No, nah, I got that shit off. I went to uh, what I had said earlier about the fucking album sales shit. Cause oh yeah, that's what I wanted to finish saying. Yeah. So why don't why so why don't motherfuckers just talk about people's first week streams like? Even that though is like, you might as well do the album sales for that because what is a stream? It's a play, and that's what people doing. Man, they ain't nobody really you don't know how they albums. measuring this shit. They got to play your shit for 50 seconds oh, at yeah. least for it to count as a stream. So 50 seconds of a song, it's not a play. Uh, I guess. Yeah, you right. You right. Shit weird. The same thing with Instagram. You you got a minute video. How long do you got to watch it for a view to count? I got mad account, so I know. You got wa- you got to watch the whole thing. Right. You have to watch the whole right. thing. I done did it right. before. Yeah. So, it's a... It's, yeah. The numbers game is the, is what they show you anyway. That's the game because they could be showing less numbers than they actually uh-huh. occurred anyway because they the ones who taking the numbers. Like I said, exactly. it could be people in Zimbabwe or some little shit, shitty neighborhood. Like I, since Trump said it, I could say it. Some shithole country, right, where nothing's going on and uh-huh. all they doing is watching our shit. And we could be the biggest thing over there. It could be. 400 people total in that whole country, village, whatever, and that's all they do is watch me. I could be the only thing they watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think I'm, they, they, they going to tell me that? <laughs> Crazy. They're not going to tell nah, me that. I know. 
Because I would never think that that's <laughs> yeah. what's going on. So they're not going to tell me nothing but what I'm thinking about. Your local people are listening. Uh, LA's listening. Um, New York's li- Like, they're going to give me those numbers. They're not trying to give me, like... You see what I'm saying? I could be the best. I could be... Like, it was an artist. Fast. And I'm going to close it with this. But Dale talked about this shit on the pod before, too. We're going to revisit it together on another pod. On 75. But... And I'm thinking about podding again. I don't know. I don't... I don't I just want to end this pod, but I I might want to pod again. But like, <sighs> fucking, it's this dude who ended up killing himself, bro, on stage, bro. He didn't even know he was famous as fucking Africa, bro. I think you told me this before. They never even you told me this before. Like he didn't even know, bro. That's crazy. And it's like, <coughs> <coughs> if he like. He never got a chance to perform there. Or it, I, I don't know how the story went. I could it, The story could go two ways. Either he went there and performed and he was just so wild out at the fact that he was like starving and homeless and shit in America and getting shit on in America and he didn't even know that these people were fucking with him and he could have killed himself because he just was fucked up in the head on stage by performing there or he never yeah. performed there ever and he killed himself here in America because of that shit and then it turned out that he was like the biggest thing out there, bro. Like, right, shit either, like that. Either way, that shit is crazy. That's how it is, bro. They be like, yo, that nigga 6 9 said, yo, I ain't start. He said, I was I was popping in Russia before I was popping in America. Like, America was not fucking with me, bro. They was fucking with me overseas, though. I was going overseas performing and shit. Yeah, I'd rather say anything. And I'm like, that so makes not. a lot of sense. Because <laughs> all Americans do is hate on everything. Like, they, they, but the same with the UK. Single thing. Europe and them, they don't really fuck with anybody. Everybody over there that got talent, they don't really fuck with them. That's why the UK people come over here. We fuck with the UK people more than we fuck with the American people. We fuck exactly. with anyone with an accent, exactly. anyone foreign. If I'm not from here. If I'm, the Russian people on Instagram got the most followers. It'd be a regular Bats. bitch in Russia uh-huh. who just got Botox and got money. And she just walk around with makeup on all day buying <laughs> shit. And she got a blue check and, and 455,000 followers. Don't nobody know who she is. Don't know, and she don't even speak. That's all she speak on, on fucking live. She be on live like shit. But like, what the fuck is going on? Where are you famous for? What are you talking about? I'll be like, yo, <laughs> and then they, look, and then I say that motherfuckers viewed my story. I'm like, ain't no way she viewed my story. She got 400 like, followers. Get out of my face. She didn't view my story uh-huh. for what? She got people like who are in her account world. while she in her account viewing people's stories, sizing people head Not up, facts. so because she about to go live. They want to. Uh, Russia know how to get that. Russia and all these foreign countries are using the internet to destroy America. You know that, right? <laughs> they use it to destroy America. The America's already destroyed. We, like, no, <laughs> but they're they're refereeing the fight between us, us fighting each other. Facts, yeah, 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 yeah. No facts, definitely. They, uh, they said, look at us like, yo, go ahead. We dumb as shit. Like, look, look at these, look at these Americans. Like, they fucking stupid as fuck. Look at them, and they, that, that's how I feel. I'm in here. America. I feel the same way. And they sizing it up. As, so yeah, they, exactly. They insert they they motives. But look though. Like Remember, I sent you that streaming farm, that 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 uh, uh, troll farm article. Uh huh. You know what that shit is, right? What a streaming farm. Or well, we know what a streaming farm is. So we, used to, we got our little own little streaming farm setups over here too. And it's like small, it's microscopic compared to what a real streaming farm is. But these labels. No, but I, 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 but I got one too, though. That's the same. That's the thing. Just because you got a laptop that play your songs for you. That's different. But look. Like shit. And a phone. But look. Motherfuckers will schedule. Will, will take a page, right? And whatever's popular, whatever trendy, whatever p- triggering topic that's trending at the moment, they're going to make a page about it. Get a bunch of followers. And then they host rallies in real life. And then they they but they own two pages and they own the opposing. So they'll have like a alt right page that 
only racist white people just tweeting mad crazy shit about fuck niggers and all this shit. Then they got another page where it's like fuck? Black Lives Matter and da, 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 and they get real people to follow them. Cause it's, but it's a fake page. It's fake. It's a, it's not a bot, uh-huh. but it's somebody faking. They got both pages. Then they schedule real yeah, yeah, events. Yeah. And then they, they schedule them close to by in proximity so that they can start shit. So... Uh-huh. All these little Russian, little random, little fake pages. You could think it's a joke now. But this is another thing about that OnlyFans shit that I be thinking about. How many pages are fake that be on your page and it's all like fake naked women saying click this link and uh-huh. I'll show you my pussy? Every time, it's like, like fucking three, it'd be like three motherfucking joints like that in my story. So bro. I was high one time and it hit like, me. I was like, this poor girl who... Put her naked photos on the internet. Probably thought she was the only one who was gonna make money off her pictures when she did that. I'm crying. But she didn't read the terms and conditions, and they probably sold all her content we this to too. all of these fucking accounts, and all of these accounts get to use her to sell whatever they selling to sell ads, basically. Shit is crazy. It's, it's just an ad company for phone. porn. It's like the porn industry has just gone stealth. We'll make money behind the scenes. Facts. Now, since everybody want to do their own independent thing, we'll just steal your photos because you you gave them to us on our platform. What, is, what, what does OnlyFans get to do with your content? Do you know? Did you read it? I don't know if motherfuckers read. Uh-huh. So who knows? Maybe motherfuckers do read. Maybe they got lawyers that read and them OnlyFans know that so they're didn't. They not scamming because they know people are going to figure it out. I don't know. But when I see those fake uh-huh. pages, I'm like, what girl did they steal these photos from? And if you're a bot, That's then that means you're a part of a, a machine that has the finances to fund bots to automatically attack and go after certain pages. Automatically, well, once they post. Who clicking on that shit and it's like trying to see that shit? Like, it's not really about that, that, though. It's the, it's the few that do. Imagine if you're an old man with Alzheimer's. You might fucking click that shit. You don't know what that is. Bro, you go to these pages, <laughs> they have followers. There's always some foreign dude who gets... You could tell he gets no pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty's like fucking needs a shower. He got dirt on him, or some oh, shit. Or he's some to, old oh, man, and he's some Indian dude. Or he's like fucking foreign, or it's like another fake page that follows. It's like shit like that, bro. And it's like for me, I don't know what what happens once I click that. I don't know what information you get. That could be a whole digital exchange of fucking. You could have made money off me just clicking, so I'm not clicking. Me viewing that's why your page, I, that's why I so look fast your page. Friend. Go ahead. I was trying to tell my friend. She was. She told me something, and it was like on a website. It was some. It was some story. It was some fake. I was some story, fake story I right? said it was fake. I told her it was fake. Uh huh. And she was like, "I said you don't know how much money they getting from you clicking on that fucking uh, shit." That's she trying to say, "Boy, no." And she, they put all she, the she money. They they that put that all the thing. all the juicy bits in the beginning to get you to click. Cause they think like that's where the that's that's the proc the the the, the uh, crux of it is. Once you start reading, the print is gonna get smaller. It's gonna be nothing. It's gonna be pointless. It was a pointless read. But they fucking finessed you exactly. by the by the first paragraph because they know that's all you fucking pay attention to. So they just uh-huh. they generating <laughs> stories that have no real end to them or no real point to them. It's not even a real story because they know that they can just Facts. start some shit and is you engaging in it is what's profitable. Because you click this, now you got the IP address, they got the sell. They have information on you that they can sell to these data companies. And these data com well, not data companies, but advertising companies who use data. Like, if you start a website, you'll learn about data, bro, easily. Because you need people, when your subscribers subscribe, uh-huh. they put their name, their number, their location, and their fucking email address. So, think about this. If somebody bought something off your website... They bought a, some merch. You know they measurements, bro. You know what size they are. So if you know that somebody's gaining yeah. weight, but you also got money in this food company, and then you find out that this person liked this food, you can sell them clothes as they gain weight. So you can you can start designing clothes for this person to be fat. Like you can you can you could just you could do mad shit, and you That's could make crazy. them fat at the same time because you're selling them. You know how to just just think about how far that could go. Like if you was a big enough company. That you can make doctors do, you can make it uh, like with Kanye West. 
Call me a conspiracy theory. I'm ready to jump off the ledge. What if Kanye uh-huh. West's accident was planned? Like, what if somebody did that to him? What if somebody paid to have the lights change at a certain time? And do, like, if everything could be controlled like that, what if somebody directed that traffic to occur that way? And he just didn't die. Like shit. It's shit like that that I think. I about. think I think the complete opposite. I'd be like, I mean, we watch movies all the I'd, time I'd where they where people opposite. do that, where they control the stoplights and the, and bad shit happen. Final destination. Oh, social shit. You know me. I'd be like, what if the? I'd be like, what if Kanye ain't never getting no accident? He just wanted to tell people that so people could feel bad for him. Yeah, I, you say that now. <laughs> but that's that's the type. You but no, I'm just saying like that's accident. how I'd be thinking. I mean, it's a way to think. Like shit, nah. I feel I, like I've never not thought. I, I, like I said, I don't put nothing past nothing. That's why you can talk to me about shit like that. Because I don't think yeah, I don't yeah. like. If I turn out to be right, hey, I was right. But if you turn out to be right, nigga, Facts. I'm, I, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be whoa. You know what I mean? It's not gonna hit me like uh-huh, everybody would hit somebody else. Like people can't even hear you talk like that because they don't think they, they think such one. You know, they got. That one way of thinking. But so. would not do nothing like that. Like so, somebody, why would somebody do that? Like why would somebody? And I'm like, yo, you don't understand the world. Like people insecure like that, bro. People do. People don't see the incentive because any, they don't know their value. Reason. They don't know how valuable they, they are. Exactly. You remember, you ever talk to somebody and they like, what 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 they worried about me for? What the government worried about me for? They ain't listening yeah, yeah, to me. Uh-huh. You like, uh-huh. bro? That's what are you me, talking about, real. son? Do you even know what your value is? It's certain shit that you do Listen. every day that you think you do because you want to do it. But no, it's people who've invested in you making that decision and they win every fucking day. Yeah, oh yeah, that's true. I definitely believe what that. What can though. you do about it? Unless you stop and make your own decisions after that and it's going to be work and you're going to have to exactly. pay for it. Exactly, stop and make your own decisions. But like, this the whole thing. They, this is how it's set up. It goes, and you're gonna have to motherfuckers, pay. it goes... As for as long as you follow social constructs, you you lost. Like you gonna get, you gonna fall for the trap because everything you gonna do is gonna be for society and not yourself. When like like me, I go get something to eat. That's probably the only thing I really do. I don't be out here trying to buy clothes and look fly for motherfuckers and do all, and spend all this unnecessary money on dumb ass shit that I don't even give a fuck about for real. Because go out, go out and get a car when I know I can't afford a car right now because I wanna I wanna be cool and I want people to know I got a car so Think about motherfuckers this. won't say yo why you don't got no car. Think about this though, NASCAR Opinion Incorporated or whatever your company is going to be in whatever yeah where you actually have people who apply here to work here and they don't mm-hmm. plan on getting fired or leaving like they want this is their job. Um. Imagine knowing how much money you give somebody to live off of, and you knowing that's what they living off of, month to month yeah, or yeah. year by year. Uh huh. You know the effect of taking and adding one dollar is on that person's life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. So imagine like. How you would press that person in different ways, especially if you had investments other places, and all of y'all had money invested in this person making certain decisions. Anything could be happening. People flat tires could be planned. They could they, like everything could be a thing if you want to think about it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no facts because it's I like you, I said, we know yeah, this I, person I, is getting too. They they getting by too long for the low. You gonna pay in some way? Yeah, like you gonna pay on the front end or the back end? What you trying to do? You gonna pay us? That's what taxes is. You gonna pay for for nothing? Like shit. We created it. You gonna pay for it though? Ah, uh, facts. So it's shit like that. Like for me, it could go far. And I feel like if you a celebrity, man, come on, bro. I've been pulled over by the police before with a group of friends, right? And we pulled over right on the side of the road, and a police officer walked out of the woods up to the side of the car. So I'm like, y'all been watching us for a fucking minute for this nigga to have been in the fucking woods. That's it. Y'all been communicating like a minute. Like, well, let them drive up there. We're going to get them right there. It's easier that way. They can't escape it if you walk up out the woods. (laughs) Like, come on, bro. We was just smoking, but it was like they came out of everywhere because they just just knew they was going to get us. 
I think I told you this story. I threw the weed out the window, and the cop yeah, was like, "Yeah, you told me that shit." Uh huh. <laughs> like, is this yours? I was like, "It ain't mine. I'm only responsible for what's in the car, and I ain't got nothing on me in the car, so I don't know what you're talking about." He said, "Oh, it's kind of odd that this thing would be this this eighth bag would be sitting right here by your door, by your window where you are." I'm like, "That ain't got nothing to do with me. I ain't got nothing to do with nothing outside the car, bro. I'm only with what's inside the car, nigga, because I'm I, that might have been there when we pulled up." He said, "Oh yeah, you think it it was here when you pulled up?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it would have just been right here. He was like, so busy grilling the nigga right. in the front window, though. So I just slid that window down and slid that shit out the top of the window. Nobody yeah. even saw me, bro. They was all geeking. Like, That's they was crazy. all geeking. Like, that shit was so fucking wild, Cops bro. Put that crack in your crack. That's one of them times you just feel like you're going to jail, bro. I had a tray of weed rolling up. I was rolling up mad J's. It was all grounded. Down, grind it down, and it was just like I was rolling. I had three backwards already rolled. I was about to roll another, and I threw that shit up under the front yeah, seat yeah, so fast. I was like, "Yeah, we're God fucked. Damn. We're fucked, bro." We were sitting on the curb for a whole hour, bro. And the other nigga in the next to me in the back seat was the white boy that I told you was zanned out. That was crazy. He was fucked up off of two bars right there, and they was fucking with him. They was one person, one cop would be like, "Yo, what time is it?" They'd be like, is it 10th? And then another cop would be like, 10.30? 12? What you think it is? <laughs> and they'd be like, uh, uh. And they'd be like, uh, uh, 11.45. <laughs> they'd be like, nigga, it's 12. You wrong. <laughs> and he'd just be off. Like, he'd be so fucking off. Like, and they just would not give him a break, bro. They just kept going in on him. Shit was crazy. That's funny. That should be funny, bro. I ain't gonna. <laughs> bro, I don't know how we got. Like, they told us they was gonna take us to court for all that shit. They never took us to court, but it's like, we just fucking got like away shit. with that. I don't know how we got away with it. <laughs> I was here today, That's bro. As a kid, shit, right? I used to just go through shit, bro. And I just don't know how I'm here today, bro. I do not know how. I just make it out of shit. I like shit. That's how I feel. Let me stop jinxing shit. Let me stop talking crazy. But, uh, that's the thing. Niggas, is, niggas ain't on nothing. Niggas ain't on nothing. What's the next level? How do we take this pod to the next level? Gotta just trust the process. We gotta wait. You gotta just keep doing it, bro. You can't think about that. That you gonna start fucking shit up, bro. <laughs> yeah. And when I say next level, like I mean conversation like wise. What what is what's the oh, next challenge wise. to talk about? What's yeah. the new? What's a new space for us? Talking wise. What would, what would be t- something that would be like? Yo, we talking about this. This is this is something we never talked about. I don't know. We will have to just we see. We talk about everything. <laughs> we ain't talk about everything. I know we didn't. We definitely That's ain't talk about like, We talked about gaming today. Like, I'm trying to spark that thought. We ain't never talked about gaming. Yeah, but I don't like talking about gaming. I just like gaming. I don't like talking about it. Like say, it all like, yeah, it's facts. I feel, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I'm not like that's why I say I would never find myself as a streamer to the point where I'm sitting down in the chair with the headphones, got my own. I'm on Twitch and all that. I'm not doing the Twitch thing. I will put people. I will pay for people to do Twitch shit. I'm not Twitching. Yeah, oh. <laughs> but don't get paid a million dollars a month off that shit. Hell supposedly. yeah, supposedly. Exactly. What if I could be like the place where like, people bruh. come to get fans to start their own channels and then they fucking. Come on, bro. And I'd be known as that nigga That's who just... How, how would you do that? He's just a space for a new... But then you got to charge niggas. Huh? Of course. Yeah, so we charge them in the beginning. Of course. You know, simple. It's simple business. It ain't about the money, though. It's more about the fans that yeah. I'm giving them and the value and, like, them starting a career and everything. It's like, I will always be there. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It's like, at the end of the day, people, everybody know this is where they came and nobody wanted to fuck with them. Or let them stream and pay them. You know, they didn't have no subscribers to their uh-huh. channel. None of that. They came here and the fans loved them. So now they fucking got their own channel. I'm, and they fucking... I'm just mad at them. myself for real. Ain't no kid creators did that. Like shit. Mm-hmm. I'm just mad at myself for real. I'm really mad at myself, but I'm just like, damn. Like, all, this, all these years... 
I could have really been consistent. I like really slept on consistency. Like everybody used to be like, yo, you gotta be consistent. And it's like, yo, I don't wanna hear that consistency shit, bro. That's not how you do it. I was like, yo, that's not how you do it, bro. Like you got it's a certain way. Like I like I don't believe that shit, bro. That's why I ain't never stopped potting. Like, no matter what happened, I was just like I gotta keep potting. I can't like let people like Make me feel like it's a turn on and off type thing. Like, it's just a real moment, and then it's not a real moment. Like, why we always feel like we got to be our best to do what we do? You better just rap through everything when because that's what you'll be doing when you like, up anyway. You ain't going to have no time to fucking exactly, stop. But that's rapping. the thing. Exactly, bro. That's how I think about everything. Now, man. I'm just like, yeah. I'm on my fourth month for real dropping music and shit. Yeah. Consistently. Sometimes that shit get born for us too, though, because we so fucking great. We great creators. We got futuristic thoughts. Sometimes we be ready for the next part. Like I was just telling you, what's the next level of this pod? Like, but you say trust the process. This is you know what to do. We a lot of shit we say on this pod too. We be saying it for ourselves. At least I do. I be saying shit just because yeah. I know this is what the philosophy is, what the reality is, how I gotta live this shit, and I just keep doing it by. Yeah, I mean, trust the process. That's how I trust the process, by even saying trust the process. I got to keep myself like focused. Shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Facts. And it's like, I mean, if you listen to, if, if you listen to other people's pods and shit, like, consistently, I know they don't be really on. Unless it's, like, different. They be talking to different people. That's the thing, too, so though. Like, but think about, think about people, this. Even when you're watching it, it, like, pods are big on context. Context is... Matters so much when it comes to pods, way more than other shit. Like music, you can kind of put that on and it can kind of control the context. But podcasts are like context is big in there. And time is big on podcasts. So like if you're talking to one person uh-huh. at one moment about one thing, in that moment it's a bigger podcast than every other podcast. But think about life in the whole time. If you go back, like I was going through Joe Rogan old episodes and some of them joints was weird. It's just out of place because y'all was talking so specifically about COVID in such a detailed way, and nothing about COVID is the same anymore. So it's like this—it's yeah, just yeah, this yeah. big chunk of conversation that is needed, needless. Like I don't need this, and it's like, like shit, for yeah, us, yeah. it will never be that thing. It will always just be a fresh conversation that has no boundaries to it. That you don't know what we about to uh-huh. say next, what we could be talking about, what you about to exactly. get from this. And you digging for That's that. That's what make it fire. Exactly. Because we're ahead of the times we talk in a way. About everything. People going to get used to hearing. Like yeah. I said, at this point, Joe Rogan's podcast is just the news for me. I can trust him so much. He's so consistent. Said, yeah. And just talking to scientists and getting the, asking the questions I would ask them. I don't need to fucking. What, thank you. But when I get to my pod, uh-huh. I'm not about to do that. Why would I do that? <laughs> he did it. What do I need like to do it for? I'm not going to do that. Even he would say, do you. That's what Joe Rogan said on his pod. He's like, and I, and like I said, the funny shit is I think about shit. I'm like, yo, I, I wish NASCAR watched this episode. And he would hear that this nigga is saying the same shit we say on our pod. But you, I ain't got to tell you because it comes up on the pod. Like, he literally said it on the pod. He was like, yeah, exactly. I wish people would just do what they do and just do what they want to do. Exactly. Once they find what they want to do and they follow that, a lot of people will be way happier in life. People wouldn't be as... Exactly Ready to sabotage other people And pull each other down Because they will have their own thing And then we will exactly. all be able to Businesses will thrive off of other businesses And everybody will have their own business And it will always That's be consistent Exactly be, man He even talks about these poor neighborhoods That are always fucked Generation gener, 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 hey, I'm, going, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on 10 Generationally <laughs> From just poverty yeah, yeah, Stricken yeah. neighborhoods And just low income neighborhoods And he was like yo if we don't change uh, that, then, you know what I mean? We can never just, we're never going to be get, get ahead. We're never going to really have a real exactly good country. Because Facts. He, he don't believe people should be locked up for drugs. He think drugs should be legal. It's shit like that. Like, yeah. We think like that. We, we, we talk about shit, freedom of choice, people doing what they want. And what comes uh-huh. with that. But I also talked about this with, with my girl on 72 Bro, we talked about JFK. We talked about what happened to you when you fuck up the money. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Headshot. You 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 can. I mean, you can fucking. 
make independence be popular and all that. But the people who is making money off of the independence not being a thing, like you, you the target now. And they got way more money, way more connections, way more years in this than you. Man, that's shit. Nah, they ain't about to. They ain't about to do shit. Hey, I wish they would. <laughs> oh, we potted. Huh? They ain't about to do nothing. We potted, huh? Like I said, they ain't finna. They ain't not finna catch nobody over something that somebody did for themselves. Like they ain't not about to. They probably try to okay. sabotage it. Okay. Like, yeah. So you think it never happened? Huh? I know it will never happen. That's not what I said. You think it's never happened before? No, nah, I don't think it's ever happened. Like <laughs> JFK is not even dead. That's the other like, thing too. <laughs> you think only animals die? You think people don't die? Yeah, I, we, I, you know, I don't think we're people. Like, <laughs> well, if you, I thought we said on the pod too that we were animals. So we the only animals no, we that aliens. don't die to you. We aliens. So you think we aliens and we don't die? See, because look die. though, look though, if, ali- if animals got, I don't even think that, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about the animals have a souls thing, because I don't think they have souls in the same way we do. I think they have souls that are momentarily like that might be here for the moment, and they might be might be a real spirit and might be yeah. a real soul, but I think it evaporates when they die. With us, I feel like we might live on that energy, go on, but at the same time, I feel like it could go on for a dog's little energy could go on too, but it's just a different energy. I don't. I don't know how to explain that shit, but I don't believe that we are anything physical. I think we are just we are what 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 it, what are is we are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like we shit. is, we be, we are. We're here. We're not there at the same time. We're far away and we're now and beyond at the same time. We don't have to have anything to be that. It's just what it is, and it's always ongoing, and it's just. Existing until it's never existing, but it's always existing. I don't know how to explain that shit, bro. I don't. It's no frame for it. That's the that's the thing about it. It's no words for that shit. We're not supposed to be even uh-huh. trying to talk about it. That's the problem. Like I said, in this round, uh-huh, exactly. you know what happens to you when you start going crazy because you fucking up the money. The money is what holds this physical shit together. None of this shit would matter. Yeah. If. You know, money and structure is what keep, keeps us alive at this point. It keeps the order. Yeah, exactly. And the order is well, a trance. The lie is organized. a trance. The money is a trance. The money's a lie. It's all fake. It's just piece of paper. Yeah. But it keeps stability right. in some weird way. It keeps structure. It keeps rules. Keeps, yeah, yeah. No, they, it keeps control. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I fuck with it. But at the same the time, you don't need it. Fat as shit. But you know, if you threw it away and it wasn't a thing anymore, people would just be dead. Cause every it just be kill or be yeah. killed, and it just be survival of the fittest, and the strongest will just win. But then they'll still die with no one. So it's like it's a funny thing. Uh-huh. Cause it's like think about this. We talk oh, about yeah. the elites all day, but think about imagine being so rich and wealthy that you need poor people to survive, like to be rich and wealthy, like for your lifestyle to continue. Yeah, you don't know yeah, anything yeah. other than rich and wealthy. And, but you know why that shit go on. Why you still rich and why you still wealthy. It's off the backs of poor people. So you got to keep people poor. You uh-huh. got to keep them alive. You get to a point in your wealth and your decision making and your control where you know that you got to keep people living. And you got to give them breaks. You got to give them shit that they want a little bit. You got to finesse yeah. them in such a way yeah. to keep them working for you. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And it's always That's bad when a society of people that work for you get woke real quick and they start learning shit. And yeah. They start wanting to be on their own. Shit well, get facts. real, bro. You gonna have to start. You gonna have to start <laughs> either being a good guy and making it worth people coming here, which is expensive for you and less money for you, uh-huh. or you could just fucking. <laughs> that get money shit. Strong that on shit that shit. Crazy. Like, I. Yo, like, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, every time I look at my district, well, yeah, you already know. I, <laughs> name stamp. <laughs> every time I look Just at call it, them your sound and it's a. At the end of the day, that's what they are. Like, shit. 
and that and I see that money go up and I see that money go up that shit crazy that shit is an addiction it's like yo I see why a rapper or why anybody get, that's get, like get, get crazy when they see that num the numbers on that paper and uh, all they need to do is sign their name come uh huh on, come on bro and they do not want to fall off because that shit is crazy it's like yo you think they don't I'm fly them out to that meeting in a nice ass jet uh, yeah, With women yeah. in it, all the drugs they could want. Uh huh. They like, hold on, we gonna come get you. Nigga get like picked shit. up. Imagine that. You about to? They just want to talk. I see why niggas sell hey, It's not soul, about signing. Bro. They just want to talk. Uh huh. And you like, yo, <laughs> yo, I don't know what else to do, bro. Like, I gotta sign. Like, Shorty is on me. Like, she know I'm that nigga. She think I'm about to be that nigga next. And I'm 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 gonna be that nigga if I sign this shit like, and they had to, the, like the ah oh, like you felt the money already so you just had to do it. And at the same time, yeah. imagine, like you would not are you uh, would, would you ever like do some? I ain't see. I don't know. I ain't trying to get incriminate nobody. But you're not a street nigga. Like you're not gonna go that far for the bread. Uh huh. You're not nah. about to be flipping birds. <laughs> nah. <Swinging yay. laughs> nah. Trapping. How to go? I would have to go find somebody in a way that I would go about finding somebody. Is don't even like, hey, 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 don't incriminate yourself on this like, show. Like, <laughs> but look, you would not do that. But imagine going that far. Imagine actually killing the op. You did that, or quote unquote did that. The op, I, don't, I know you don't I believe in death, so you probably really kill a nigga and think he not dead. But it's all saying I killed somebody, I would kill myself. Imagine living with that. And then somebody offer you some money just for rapping. But you signing like shit, bro. You're not trying to keep doing what you're doing, bro. You so done with that shit. You're going to dive head first in this rap shit. Of course, a street nigga definitely is. I told you, every street nigga is like dumb for real. Like, yeah, they hate to a that degree. Shit. They not happy, nigga. Nipsey Hussle, Nipsey Hussle was like more than just a street nigga. He was different, bro. He was in the streets. But he was a hustler in the streets. Do you be feeling like? Do you be feeling like money? Do you be feeling like they want your problems and you want their problems? Because at the end of the day, like they get they get a lot of they get they they blow up faster, the, they way. I would, I never feel like that. But I'm, you never felt like that as, as a younger artist, like growing up, like damn these niggas be really just talking about oh, trap yeah, and yeah, just yeah, be I definitely, up. I definitely like, felt like that when I first started. Real shit and it don't be popping like that. It don't be clicking like <laughs> like they shit click. Like that's I why know I started I changing. That's that why I stopped shit. being a conscious rapper. Huh? That's why I stopped being like a lyrical rapper for real, and I start yeah. making the shit that I like kind of make now. Cause I'm like, yo, these niggas is these niggas not listening to what I, these bars. These, I'm going over <laughs> people here. They don't give a fuck about that shit. Like, Nobody want to hear me rap like, better than they could rap. Like if they could rap, exactly. No facts. That's that exactly how I felt. And that's why I just like now. put some bounce on it. I, I put some bounce on it. I'm like, you gotta almost yeah, be relatable only nigga that really to the had fans. me. Facts. The only nigga that really had me like. Kind of still on it, making me feel like it could work was TDE and J Cole. Like that's it. Yeah, man. Pod picks. What's your What's your pod picks for this week? Well, today, this episode at least. Seventy four. Shit. Um. I gotta look at uh, mine. Um. Man, hold on. Let me I get got something for you. I'm gonna just shout out the album, Soldier Boy Swag for. Shout out to Soldier Boy, man. I fuck with Soldier Boy. I'm listening to Soldier Boy again. I'm back on my Soldier Boy shit. Like shit. That nigga live stream too now. He it. funny and shit. He got a cool ass little show. I fuck with that nah, shit. Nah, he definitely. Yeah, he got a Twitch and shit. I mean, uh, uh, well, I don't watch it like that. I don't, I don't watch his watch Twitch. I just watch his YouTube vlog. Which is the Soldier Boy. Right, so show uh, for, shit. for the be, fam only, guy. That's one. You said what? Uh, Rondo the kid. I, I said for the fam only. Like that shit hard, bro. <laughs> I even for the fam song. only. I got I, 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 cause I had to get you back. You picked one of my songs last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got me back already. Then but then else? you get me again. So it's like. And then what else? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I just don't feel like people talking about Donda enough. So I'm definitely on some. I feel you. On the whole album too. Like fuck with that. And then I've been on my Anthony Hamilton shit. You gotta do Pierre Coming since from we talked about Pierre today. What about uh, which, which, Pierre Bourne groceries? Huh? 
groceries. That shit hard. Yeah, that's your motherfucking ringtone. Who you know get the bags like P, get the cash like P, get the fat like me. Like, I gotta fuck with it because it's P and NASCAR P, so I just had to, like, Uh put that as your shit. And it was like, Like who who do I know like this nigga? I don't know nobody else like this nigga, so it's like, it just fits you perfect. Like, who you know get the fast like P, get the cash like P, get the fast like me. That beat is just too crazy. That shit. Doom, 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 doom. I wish he had, like, seven more beats like that on that motherfucking album, bro. I swear like, to God, Like, fuck the rest bro. of them joints. Them joints be too, like, sometimes he just do oh. too much, and he could have just did Do You, you can do too much to a beat, bro. I swear bro. to God. Bro, 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 bro. Bro. bro, imagine being hey. at work, though, and that song, is like, you. all I'm watching is the video. I keep watching the video over and over again. Like, he even got me with the little Spotify uh-huh. video. With a little Apple Music video uh-huh. that be playing while the song, play- bro. That little clip still get yeah. me. And I'm like, yo, I had to watch the uh-huh. video at work, and I was like, yo, this nigga is in the grocery store, the whole fucking joint. But I'm at work and I'm like trying to get off, bro. I'm looking at the phone like I'm almost off, bro. And I just keep hearing this shit and I can't fucking play this shit how I want to play this <laughs> shit. Yet. And I just gotta hear it uh-huh. in my headphones like they don't know how hard this shit is, like. I was like, yo, was he made that shit for niggas this like shit me, earlier. Two step beats, like, like two step, like that's my favorite types of beats to make, bro. Like joints that go like two bars and then loop two it's bars. It's not loops. too much. Like dun 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 dun, and then loop like that. That shit is too hard, bro, because it's perfect. It's but like you gotta have it rhythm to it too, though, because like it. that's how his shit went. His shit. Bum, 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 bum. Like sometimes this is what this is the uh-huh. thing with producing beats and rapping. My fucked up shit is sometimes I do too much with the beat and I take away from what I could do rapping because I did it with the beat already. Like the beat be rapping too much sometimes. Yeah, fact. Oh, so you gotta leave yo, space. I, like as a producer, you hear Pierre. He always leave space for him as a rapper to come in and rap exactly. and let the rap kind of finish where the beat picked started off at, and like. For me, sometimes I, I let the beats talk too much, and I don't know what to rap yeah, about yeah, because yeah. the beat is already saying it, and it's like making <laughs> raising the bar too high for these bars. Like uh, exactly, like uh-huh. I could just if I took that bass out, I could do that with my voice instead of having that bass right there. It's shit you gotta think about. Facts or the pattern is this shit. Like if I do too much with the eight oh eight pattern, then it's just like nah. What can, I gotta you, take what some can shit you say? Out. The bass is talking yeah. for you. It's saying, oh, it's already saying what it need to say. Yeah. Unless you like cardi it and don't say nothing, it's just let the beat carry you. But even then, like you gotta, you gotta compete now with the fact that Cardi's the best at doing that shit right now. Because yeah, you ain't gonna no, do it. <laughs> you're not about to do it on that level off top. Life so it's like you want to stick with that. Like, like that's what I be saying, bro. Like to get really good at something, it's t- it take time. That's what I be saying. I'm not saying that I'm ever uh-huh. like. Shitting on myself I'm just saying I want to be great At some a lot of shit And I know how long It take me to be great at rap How long it took me To be great at this I know that this part of shit It's just We uh-huh. going through the process We going to be We are great already Facts So it's just imagine What we going to be Ten years Five years Three years Like come on bro But that's That's, that's the exactly. number thing You say that now Niggas be like Whoa Whoa, whoa. Ten years, God. We're gonna be great because we being consistent, bro. We're gonna be consistent in three years, bro. It take three years to really take off. It take three years of consistency, maybe even four, to really take off, bro. Yeah, and I done had this. Niggas got to be already been doing this shit for a long time, and then like that's what I was gonna say. Like, like, niggas been doing this shit for so long that it's it's really you never know when it's gonna click. And I'm trying to tell you, we are gonna be so deep in pot in one time, and it's gonna be an episode that we not even thinking about, that we don't give a fuck about, that we ain't really even. Uh-huh. It's not standing out to us. It's not one of our best to us. We don't really talk about the episode amongst us. That's gonna be the one. Exactly. I was watching. Uh, I forgot who I was watching, and they was like, "Oh no, it was Uno the activist." He said, "Yeah, like Meek Mill, he dropped he dropped that one song that he blew up off of, and that that shit ain't blow up till like three years later. Like it was like, right. you know what I'm saying? It's always stories like that. Like, but you will never get to that point unless you keep making music. Like you but can't. That's the thing you know too. I mean? It's like that's why I had so much shit going on because. I want people, like I said, I can get viewers from mad different shit, and once they see you doing something else, they're going to tune in. 
How you know this shit? This shit could blow up tomorrow, but it might blow up tomorrow because of some other shit. How you know that? Like, what if you drop exactly. a song that's car that just go up? I'm trying to tell you the pod gonna go up because your song just went up. They gonna see your that you yeah, did a yeah, pod yeah. too. And they gonna listen. They be like, "Yo, this nigga is a uh-huh. wild character as a person on a pod, and he fucking got this fire." I, I love this song. Yeah. Imagine all the chatter that comes with all of that. That's the point of everything. It's like, Fact. it's like turning on the light switch and every light come on. In in this in time, like in this a proper time. Like a domino uh-huh. effect, and that's the, that's the same shit too with people. I want, I want that shit to to do that for them. That's what I'm saying. That's the goal for the company. It's like you gotta invest that up front. But one day I want the company to just be like a touch, is a blessing. Just to have, just yeah. to, for people to know you even was talking with us. They're like, oh yeah, you on some independent? Like you got the power now, because niggas really got the. They over there. They got people who fuck with them just because they give niggas new niggas a shot. Yeah, like, fuck yeah, no yeah. jumper podcast. He do that shit, but he do it in a different way. I'm not about to be interviewing every yeah. new nigga and like saying I was the That's first nigga up, who interviewed though, like, them and shit. And uh huh. That's but how I, he be fast, bro. He be on it fast. But I, but he be but I be I'm, but I'm trying to be different in the same way. Where it's like it's a certain kind of motive in what we doing. Like you doing uh-huh. something in mind with in, with the with the with the mission in mind, which is this is a place to generate. You got to contribute to get here. You got to have something to offer, but you also gonna benefit in such a way. You see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you can't be a lame ass nigga who don't draw no fans. Like. <laughs> Because you're just going nah, to shit on the quality the and the validity and the integrity of the company. Like, you got to be, like, exactly great at what you do. But imagine people here because you great. And they want to hear more great shit. And they think that you the key. You the next. You the, oh, you the door to great shit. Uh-huh. That's all I'm trying to be. So that way I can, make, I can have value. I can charge niggas for... The f- the the fact that they gonna about to be popping after this shit, but at the same time, they gonna be popping. They don't ain't gonna need me. They they don't yeah. gotta keep taking my checks. They can take them when every year when we do our festivals and they just come perform like that. We can have that type of relationship. Yeah. But imagine having that relationship with a bunch of artists to where they had no, they had a little bit of fans and they came and they added they they and it was they knew it was other artists there and they all came together and they like knew if they put their fan bases together because basically how they sonically do and then they came here and they, we just was the hub for that we was just the hub we was just the building where they could record that song yeah. that you see what i'm saying and it's like phew, come on bro that should be gold if i tell you i got a festival and we got we got the we got the tickets guaranteed we know what people how many people come come on bro and then if we put you in the lineup more people gonna come like come on bro Exactly. Nah, that shit gonna be lit. That's why I'm like, bro, C- Crazy Kids Festival. That shit about to be crazy. I can't. I shouldn't even say that on the podcast. Yeah. But that shit gonna be fucking crazy, bro. It's gonna be crazy. I didn't even know that's what it was gonna be called. That's what like, it's gonna yeah. be. It gotta be called that. That's the first one. Gotta be called that. Crazy uh-huh. Kids Festival. Come on, bro. Fuck that. That's like you thought Astro World was wild. Come on, man. Crazy kids. Nah, we got to be. Yeah, that shit gonna be lit. <laughs> like, imagine have a JB the villain. Uh huh. Come on, bro. Come on. Imagine the lineup. Man, I already know it. JB. NASCAR P. You. You know all the artists. That's you know the rest of the niggas. Like, I know a few people. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Bro. Mars, baby. There's some OGs on Lord there. Kids. Had the R&B shit going. Had the girls. Found the female artists. Yeah. Female rappers too. Get some rock uh-huh. niggas. Some black people who do rock too. Facts. Let's just talk to motherfuckers. Uh-huh. Just mad people. Even white people. I'm with it. Every artist oh, is good. Me. I'm with it. That's why. I, that's why I was like, "Pod picks what we doing?" Because like, I threw a little bit of R&B in there. The Anthony Hamilton. Cause uh-huh. this is just, that's where I'm at with it. I got big. I got big dreams, bro. <sighs> you satisfied? Said so we both do. You satisfied? I talk to you this yeah. whole pot, bro. I hate this shit. Nah, you good. Nah, this shit's still lit. I drank two coffees. Not two of them. Mad you espresso. probably got pissed like shit. Eh. 
I don't already went to the bathroom consistently though. I've been just streaming all day, so it's like I done posted like fourteen videos, like fourteen streams, like. God damn. Yeah, in one day. Oh, he really in there. They just been playing the game, game after game after game. After and you got some viewers in there too. That's what I'm saying, bro. Should be should be coming up. And I just be sitting there playing. I don't even be fucking trying to view this shit on my shit. Uh-huh. I'll be watching it on my shit, but I know it's not counting my view. Like not the shit. same account that I'm streaming from. Nah. Nah, like shit. So. Nah, if you on a laptop and you watching it, yeah, that's going to count that. It's going to count you. Nah, I'm not signed up. I'm talking about my phone. Oh, I like shit. I'm sitting here on my phone and I be looking at the shit just to see what niggas see and when I be commenting. Cause some one time a nigga commented and was like, "You doing it one on one?" And I was trying to get with the nigga, but I was still trying to play the game. And I had the baby, I got kids and shit, nigga. I be doing man shit. So it's like, you ain't, yeah, yeah. Have to, you ain't fuck the stream for real. Y'all gonna wait? Like that's why I'm gonna keep posting. That's why I post so many. It's like I want people to know, even if it's a shitty stream. Every time we play in the game. That's what we doing. We stream it, bro. We not not we not gonna play the game for nothing no more. I'm not doing that shit. Nah, facts. This fucking you, to monetize a YouTube channel, you need a thousand subscribers. That means I'm a bro. Uh-huh. And then this is a, this is a pro, this is already a production company. We supposed to be doing mad different shit. We supposed to have short films, movies, TV shows. We supposed to have podcasts. We supposed to have uh, what's they call it? game streaming, whatever the fuck you call it. Supposed to have everything. If you ask me, I'm not limited yeah. to nothing. I don't, and I, and I don't have to be the one doing it. But if I can know greatness, I should be able to just know greatness and be able to apply and have something to offer greatness to make greatness more great. Yeah. And if I have something to offer, then they can offer me something too. It's just how it works for me. Not, not for real. Yeah. And we ain't really seeking nothing out. We just attracting. <laughs> Facts, not for real. No nah, bullshit. Man. Episode seventy four. I hope you, hope you, hope you. Damn, bro. I just want to talk to you as a regular nigga for real. I ain't really trying to problem with you right now. Like shit. I'm just damn, like, bro, damn. It's really seventy four. Like, fucking earth, where was bro. I at? <sighs> nigga, these niggas gotta wait. I want to play the game too. Like, I gotta wait, bro. Why you ain't ever had your own system so you could just always have that shit? I could get one, but like, I don't like this setup, bro. I gotta look up in the air to oh, play the you, game. I, I don't like you're that right, shit, right, bro. Right, 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 right. That should be hurting my neck. I, I hate doing that shit. I gotta do that to record. That should be hurting my neck, bro. Nah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. I wanna have a, like a setup where I can look forward. And I want it. I want it to be healthy, like. Right, 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 right. So right, if I right, if right. I get on the game, I'm gonna fuck myself up, bro. I'm gonna be so locked into it, and I can't really see from that far back if I'm trying to really, you know what I mean? NASCAR P Rondo the Kid Episode 74 Rondo Show Podcast Follow us on All podcasting platforms Right now YouTube Subscribe Yes sir Yo NASCAR P Thank you man See y'all motherfuckers Next 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 what Next day Next pod day (laughs) Yeah you already know Next day on the schedule You know Tuesday or Saturday Uh Yup